Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. But imagine being plugged in. There we go. Imagine being able to hear the things as opposed to him. It's Friday. It is indeed. Which means two more weeks before our vacation. Is it only two weeks left now? I think it's two weeks. Oh yeah, two. Yeah. It's even better. Hendrik, how are you doing? What a good day it's been. I'm glad to hear that your day has been great. Happy Friday. That sounds pretty good. Is, is your work working? is going well. Are you still working? Presumably, yes. It's or only like one o'clock. Yeah, or better than last time at least. How is your day been? I've gotten through 90% of a project that I'm working on at work. That is complete fucking insanity. And I saved the worst for last, but <laughs> I'm getting rough, so. <laughs> but yeah, that was a 10 hour day. I had a good day. And I'm glad it's Friday. Long, but good. It's weekend. We're gonna finish, actually finish Danganronpa today. Because we're is. halfway through the last trial. Groundhog! Also, with a smooth answer, Andrik. Hmm? How's the day been? Better now that you're here. It's a bit late for that one. Yeah, I thought of it too long. <laughs> Hello, Groundhog. Hello, Evie. How are you two doing? How are you doing? But it's always better when you guys are here. Oh, Hand of the King dead on BSC plus two. What? I don't know what you mean. Let me, let me Google that. Did I miss something? What's BSC? Well, the Hand of the King, I only know from Game of Thrones. Okay, oh, so it is a Dead Cells thing. What's a BSC? I guess it's like a new game plus cycle. <laughs> Fucking scrubs! <laughs> and that's why you love us. <laughs> the best scrubs ever. Children are demons! They can be. They hit fabulous with a metal bat. Those kids are evil. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're all watching. First and most importantly, fabulous, stay safe. Stay safe. Like those kids are evil for sure. Where did they even get the bed from? Sauce. Sauce. Thank, you, Thank for you for the host. I forgot to eat, so now I'm microwaving a bagel. Nice. Enjoy that is that nice. Bagel. Don't forget to eat, y'all. It's after 1 p.m. and I haven't eaten yet. You should eat occasionally. Enjoy that bagel. At the very least when you feel hungry, when you get the chance. I beat him on the third difficulty. Ooh, nice. nice. As like, is expected scroll. of a pro gamer like Evie. <laughs> Good job. Is there also like a new for baby level? Yeah, you can play that game of cheats, which is what would happen if cute. I touch the game. That thing is not cute, it's a final boss and it, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, but it looks kind of cute. No, not necessarily. Is it looks a, cool. Is that a lizard? I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it's a lizard. I do not know what it is supposed to be. But I like to play baseball also. Why are mattresses so fucking <laughs> heavy? <laughs> because they're mattresses. Uh, we have a 2 by 2 meter or six by six foot, I guess. What's meter? Mattress. Wait. Yeah, it's roughly One six by six feet. In what? What? Foot. And Rick, thank you for the gifts up. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, there's no music right now because Spotify needs to make money and we're running an ad and I still haven't done our sound. <laughs> no beans. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Andrew. You king. I shall drink to this. Yes. Also, one meter is 3.2 foot, so it is okay, 6.4. Yeah, 3.28, so 6.5. It's 6.4 by 6.4, and it is heavy as fuck. You yes. need three people to carry that comfortably. Oh no, baby crying, get to go. No. Take care of that baby. I hope it's Take care, well. don't get hit, keep kicking butts. Thank you. For the Thank you so much for the follow. Hope much appreciated. Had an amazing week as well. How's your Friday? 
<laughs> three more difficulties to go. You got this, Evie. I got I full believe. faith that you got this. Also, my I believe in Evie. Laptop is extremely bright. Your laptop. <laughs> yes, it is my laptop. If you have never seen Evie stream video games, you should. She's usually around Mondays and Thursdays, uh, half an hour before we normally start. Whatever that is in your time zone. Sorry. <laughs> You're uh, forgetting <laughs> time zones. One p. About 12.30 EST, I guess. And 40 she's... minutes from now in the past. Yes. <laughs> yes, basically that. And she's pretty damn good at video games, despite not believing that she is. And she's really good at making Dead Cells look like it's an easily doable game. Evie is not scrub. You should check that out. What are we sipping on, Jifa and Zach? <laughs> this bacon is leftover drinks mixed together. I believe the appropriate term would be jungle juice. It's pretty good though. It is uh, two thirds of raspberry iced tea. Then it is a little bit of a cherry apple juice and liquor for good measure. It's really nice. What did you just call me? What? <laughs> we were Surprisingly, not talking about you, sauce. I'm sorry. What did, did you call sauce? Nothing. I was talking about the thing I'm drinking. <laughs> I believe you misheard, my friend. Jack's tips are ready. No, fortunately not. Not yet. Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh, he said bacon. You said bacon. What? I didn't even hear that myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sauce with bacon? <laughs> From where I'm sitting. <laughs> did you change colors? <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, you did. No, he didn't. It's unsub sauce. It's unsub. <laughs> I'm very sorry. You don't have one follow yet. My eyes told me that it was bacon. I was next gonna ask bacon, how's the vacation going? But. He's I'm doing now. one better. Oh, no, Sauce has always been pink. At least on here. No, Sauce has been red. Like this I've deep seen him orange. Before. Stop changing your colors on me. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> Ooh, I'm doing one better. Vacation is good. Nice. Bacon is fucking red. I was orange. I'm pink. See, you did change your color. Stop throwing <laughs> me out of a. Uh... Like off the loop. So you're not remembering people by name, but by color. When I'm taking a glance to not sit there like, oh, please, uh, please hold on while I'm putting on my reading glasses. So <laughs> wait. Hey, me. if you don't want me to sit here like this. Okay, uh, please, please hold on. I need to read the chat. Uh, if I'm just taking a quick glance. Yes, I heavily rely on colors. Just I'm sorry. Me. Ooh, acquired a bagel, a glass of milk, and, and a tray. tray. Ooh, we're on the big TV. <laughs> on Hi. the big TV dance. Yes, we are. Yeah. Now the cats can watch along too. Oh, yeah. It's big been TV. long but productive. Did you get some more sleep, Fody? That's good hope, to hear. Hope you haven't been awake all night. Glad to hear. I am glad to hear that and it's good to hear. English is difficult. See, at least I'm quite sure Fody will understand what Evie meant. Yes. <laughs> because Fody's also not scrub. <laughs> Bacon doesn't look anything like sauce. That is true. Do you really want me to go into a rant about how I am speeding up my reading? I could, but it's boring as fuck. Like I said, I mostly rely on colors and stuff. So, sorry. I'm very sorry, but I... <laughs> Called you by a wrong name. I was just flustered yeah. by both of your awesomeness. Are you hyped for the mastermind reveal? Yes. Pretty much. Because I still guessing Fenrir is behind it because it makes sense. What? But Who? Fenrir. Okay. What? I understood something else. Oh no. But I'm guessing it's gonna be something complete bullshit. So I'm looking forward to finishing it and see where it ends or how it ends. Hmm. 
I got up to the concierge, to no portions at all by that point. Nice. That's pretty good. That sounds pretty hard. I'll take bacon sawyer sauce. Go ahead. Another rebrand coming. <laughs> bacon sawyer sauce. I wonder if bacon sauce would probably be good. A bacon sauce? Yes. A bacon sauce. Jack, that is not good. Wait, why is that not good? I'm confused. I thought not using potions is good. Yes, and you're on a higher difficulty, so... Oh, I thought as in you didn't use any potions mm. at all until that point, not that you didn't get the chance to have any. Okay, that is pretty... Oh uh, yeah, that... That's basically impossible for me, yeah. so... I thought you meant nope, that you didn't use any at all. As in that tips as well. Bacon grease is awesome. Uh, you do you. <laughs> I'm living mm. happily without bacon grease. I don't think I even ever had bacon grease. You've eaten bacon before. Yeah, but not like bacon grease. Well, it comes with the bacon, I guess, but still. That's my point. Like sogging bread in it or something. I don't know. I think people do that. Yeah. My mother used to do it. Sounds very German. No, I think a lot of people do it. My mom is just the only one that I uh, can think of. I can imagine it's really good though. Poor people like me. I wouldn't say that. I think uh, frying things in bacon grease is a thing. <gasps> a recipe for spätzle. And I think I'm going to make them for the next Arcane Kitchen. Yes. Yes, I fucking love case spätzle. They are so good. What she's saying is that but with cheese. Yeah, that's like very Swiss to have it with cheese and sometimes like a mushroom cream sauce with it. Even though the cream sauce isn't really traditional, I believe. It's fucking delicious. We made cheese and fried onion. It is so good. Spätzle yeah. is really nice. Can't go honest, wrong with Spätzle. To be honest, I don't really care what you cook as long as there's another Arcane Kitchen. <laughs> the world needs more Arcane Kitchen. <laughs> that's true. Definitely. Ooh, the one I saw was with cabbage and bacon. I'm gonna set the bacon for mushrooms as vegetarian. Mm. You can uh, take some mushrooms, cut them into fine slices, then put some spices on that. I think we use paprika Sprinkle, spice. Yeah, paprika, salt, smoked, whatever if you have it. And you just chuck that in the oven until it gets all dense. It shrinks like to like 1% of its size. <laughs> you get like these tiny flakes. But it's delicious. <laughs> You can use that to substitute bacon bits, if you have mushrooms and the patience for it, because it takes forever. It takes long, yeah, so probably not that good of a thing for our game kitchen. Depending on how long you plan to spend, you might want to prepare that if you go with it. Not bad though. Can recommend. It's not like bacon though. It's tasty, but it's Even not though bacon. in this case, just normal mushrooms might be better. The beauty of cooking is you can, what, you can create whatever is tasty to you. That is very true. Yes. Do you think we will finish the game? We will finish the game today. Probably yes. Probably yes. Which means we should also slowly start the game. Oh, 14 hour stream sounds good to me. 40 and down with that. <laughs> I would 100%. watch 14 hours of Arcane Kitchen. Yes, I would too. I would watch 14 hours of that definitely. In a heartbeat. You guys are amazing. No, no you. you. We're telling you, you are amazing. It's nothing to do with us. <laughs> Can't really put it on us that we enjoy watching you. My liver can survive more than two hours. Pace yourself. <laughs> Pace yourself. Pacing is hard though. <laughs> Groundhog. No, you. Exactly. No, you. You're awesome. No, you're awesome. I don't know, not a question mark. It is definitely going to be. People don't even... No, it's too long! No! <laughs> Just leave Look out the thingy at the end. Or that. Ooh, I'm early, finally! <laughs> Shrift! Welcome! Yes, you are! How Happy are you doing? Happy Friday! How has your week been? You could drink less. But it's been pre stream for 21 minutes. Play the game, you're almost done. Go, go, go. 
<laughs> we are currently setting up actually. <laughs> if you want to see the game and you come like half an hour late with us, you probably didn't miss anything. <laughs> it's, it's usually like, if you remember going to cinemas, you know, you first had like advertisements, then you had the trailers. It's kind of like that. <laughs> you start with the trailer and then you get there. I mean, I was trying to be subtle about it, but what shrift said? <laughs> Sorry, we're slow people. We're getting there. Jack's setting up. Yes, I am indeed. So if I come off as pushy aggressive about it, I just love watching what people think. Sorry, <laughs> apologize. You're all good. No That's need to apologize. Fine. If we fought that, we would tell you. Why so. does this emote combination work so well? Because they're both very round. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the case. Do you already have an arcane kitchen planned again, by the way, Andrew? Good question. When is it? The world must know. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, Spotify. Wolf and the Pack! Nice seeing you again. How are you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? Happy Friday. Uh, now let me see the chat. There we go. Do you remember? <laughs> Should be getting to the end of the game today, so... Yes! I am super excited to finish this game because I still do not see how they are gonna end this. Like, I cannot imagine an ending to it. Also, Fody with the insanity. Saying Andrew could just drink less. <laughs> no. A wizard does not drink less. <laughs> no, True. he could. You could, but... That's very hard. So, I heard since everybody is enjoying this so much, we're starting from the beginning again? <laughs> drink less, Andrik, more beans. It's not really a happy Friday. Prince Philip died today. Oh yeah, true. Sorry. I saw it earlier. Mm. I forgot about that. <coughs> I heard you mention it. But he had a pretty long and, I guess, nice life. He made it to 99, no? which is pretty Wait, impressive. He was 99? He was 99 years old. Really? Yeah. I thought he was like 90 or 92. Mm -mm. Wait, did he? I had no idea. Yeah. Prince Philip. Yeah, he did. Oh yeah, 99. He was going to be like 100 in like a month. No. Uh, I mean, it, it's a shame that he died either way, but... Uh, 100 yep. has something like... Some amazing quality to it, like triple digits and all that. Passed away this morning. Yeah. That's a long fucking life. Yes. Yes, it is. How old is the queen? Uh, isn't she... Is she she definitely is not 99. How old is she? 99, according to Wall. What? Just press enter. Google it. 90, she is 94. 94, according to Google. She looks pretty good for 94, though. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what Google said. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying that's what Google said. That's what Google spit out. Prince Philip was 99 and Queen Elizabeth is 94. Yeah. I'm gonna live to be 160 with modern science. My brain knew a link to my games. <laughs> I don't think I would actually want to be 160 because my body sometimes already feels like 99 with my knees. It's about Imagine. getting old and still enjoying life. It's not just about yeah, getting that old. Yeah, true. Did you guys see the monkey? I saw the news. I did not actually see a video or anything of it. I saw the headline of the news article as well, but I did not see it yet. No. But that shit is insane. They got married at the same age, yeah, that definitely mm. makes sense. The only queen I know that old is Betty White. She is a queen. Betty White is amazing. No, I'm sorry to hear about Prince Philip, but I am happy for him he got to that age. Yes. Like, that is quite an accomplishment. Also, a rapper died like an hour ago. Yes, DMX. Who's that? X gone give it to you. He had a pretty, uh, he had a couple of songs that I know, remember. Could be. X come give it to you and there was this one where he is like doing this prayer thing that is pretty good. Or that I enjoy a lot. But Could be that I've heard of it, but it doesn't ring a bell. 
She was born a few years after the Spanish flu epidemic. She left through both world wars and the introduction of the internet. And she still <laughs> doesn't have a driver's license. Yeah, but she's the queen. She's she, the queen. She doesn't need one. If she wants to drive a car, I'm pretty sure they will let her drive a car. Not that she should, since she doesn't have a license, but she's queen. I was like, why did Fody send a message about how compelling is your writing, but it's the advertisement? Writing or writing? Writing. Oh, okay, because I thought you said writing. Are we gonna have a whole another stream about you pronouncing words? <laughs> <laughs> she can drive according to the crown. Hmm. It's quite nuts though. I think that technology has gotten this far. Yep. I'm not quite sure I want brain implants like that though. For later, Tifa, I am gonna click on this. Wait, Open well, did Spotify. you put the sunglasses on the no you emotes? <laughs> With Tifa, <laughs> it, it looks works. She looks like a flounder where she has the two eyes on the side. With mine, I guess two in the same, like, same kind of energy. <laughs> also, hello, Amber. Thank Happy you, Salsi. I will listen to that because I probably know him. I just cannot... Cannot remember. Also, hi Amber, happy Friday. How's your day How's your coming along? <laughs> He's using no controller. To be honest, I wouldn't want that thing implanted in my brain, but I see I how totally that can be would. a positive thing. I'm sorry, implants directly into your brain, giving you the ability to access things is, in theory, an amazing thing. Like imagine being able yeah, to have yeah. like a hut where you can see information just with your eyes. I see Amazing. the appeal, but I also Mega. I'm not sure if this is gonna. Happy make it. Friday! I hope your work is going well because I imagine you are still working too. Mega, have an awesome day at work. Also, Ember, you can post a YouTube video in yes. chat. No problemo. Yes, you may. What does Monokuma have to say to that? The world may never know. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting to it. <laughs> you thought this was a dang and Ronpa stream? Sorry. We're talking about the news first. To this day project. <laughs> How long is it video? Uh, eight minutes, so I'm gonna leave it open and I'm gonna check it out later. Thank you for the link. But that clay thing looked super odd. <laughs> oh, Fody, you fuck. You made me almost pull my drink through my nose. <laughs> ah. Road trip! Steeled, how are you doing? Any dogs Hello, screaming at you today? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully just dogs wanting to get pet. Uh, okay. Are you guys ready to finish this game? <laughs> Do you understand that reference, Jack, Tim and Eric? I was there yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Road trip with... Rix's dad. Having a good day besides a huge argument with my dad about filling out the affiliate form. About what part? Well, first of all, I'm sorry to hear that you're having an argument, but... I'm guessing he doesn't trust Twitch. Usually if I hear people arguing with their parents, it goes in that direction that they don't want to fill it out. Yeah. I feel like you might like the video. It looked, the, um, the start I saw looked a bit odd, which means I will probably like it, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it open and definitely watch it. Oh, another video. Uh, we'll click there too, so we have more to watch and then let's actually start the game before people start throwing pitchforks at us. <laughs> Tim and Eric. Oh, this also only is here with. That's it's sad. a road trip clip. Thank you very much. All right, so last time we were playing this game. I wanted to watch a YouTube video the other day and it said 20 minutes of ads. 20 minutes. So last time we were playing this game, <laughs> uh, we unveiled that apparently it is Junko who was with us in the very beginning of the game. 
but as a mastermind behind all of this. And then I accidentally clicked the mouse one too many times, so we had to do the whole reveal <laughs> manga part. So now we are right after that. That's where we left off. Yep. The social security number for the tax part, and he wouldn't give it to me. He said, you don't put that online, it's probably a scam. Well... If it helps, you could well, go with the fact that Twitch is owned by, by Amazon. Amazon. I know Amazon. for... Americans. By Amazon, you know what I mean? Which usually helps with a lot of people I've heard because they are that big. Yes, they are legit. Also, I guess try to show proof of that. Isn't it, it your details you enter? Isn't there a way to find out your social security number? Like there has no. to be some place that tells you that, no? Not for a minor. But a social security number is a personalized identity number. I like, don't think they care. Twitch needs it if you sign up to become an affiliate for tax reasons and yeah. payouts. They have our government issued names. Like the moment you can earn money with it, you have to yeah. report it. Yeah. Taxes and stuff. I left Junko. Junko is... Well, at the moment I think Junko out. is an asshole, but... <laughs> the floofiness of her hair is amazing. She does look cool. Floofy hair is pretty great. Yep. Now, let's do this. So, second part of the trial. Bring it. What? Are you broken again? This music is so good. You can't get out of this, so don't even try. I wonder what he's gonna come up with now. If it was me controlling Monokuma, I would just disconnect. Like that. <laughs> But Monokuma can't do that because then if the thing is over, everyone will vote for him. And then end of story. Yeah, but who cares? It's just a robot. It's a remotely controlled robot. If you want to like kill everyone in here by never letting them leave, all you need to do is just not let them out of a basement. Hmm. So. Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reach the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Oh. Is that a new room? No. Did she just suddenly appear in front of us? Holy shit, Junko showed up. That's pretty cool. Been waiting. Waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. I she sounds posh as fuck. Did not see that voice coming. Nope. Been waiting way. so very long for peasants like you to <laughs> appear. You know, you know what it kind of what her voice kind of reminds me of? Tell me. The same like cadence of Tom Hardy as Bane. I see what you're trying to tell me there. Are you the League of Shadows? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god, the ultimate despair. So you made this. I do not recommend or rec blah blah blah. I do not memorize my social security number, but making a song out of it is pretty smart, I guess. I just never needed it. Yeah. If <laughs> Except I, for now, then of course. If I need my ID number, I just get out my ID and look at it. Mm. But the social security number in the US is a lot more important than over here your ID number. That is very true. Like with that thing you can do basically everything. Please correct me if yeah. I'm wrong. I do hope you can find some stuff together to like convince your dad that it is not a scam. Hmm. My mom kept getting annoyed with me for not knowing it for medical forms. Makes sense. I guess that does make sense. If you need it a lot, then yeah, it does make sense remember. Here you just give your insurance card and then have fun. <laughs> I'd ask you to sing the song, but I don't want your social security <laughs> number. Please sing your song. <laughs> Please sing me a song, sure. In America, that gives you access to a lot, no, if you have that number. I believe pretty much everything. Yeah. Because here I could give you my number, but you can't really do that much with it. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. 
doesn't give you access to shit. Hmm. Steeled, I'm rooting for you. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, have you tried telling Actually, him wait, that Twitch are... is owned by Amazon? Like You are 19. I had 17 in my head, but then you should be able to get it yourself. Most SSN are Googleable after the Equifax breach. Yeah, plus that, so. I don't know how it works in America, but here, the moment you are over 18, you have access, you can get access to all of your own data. Yeah, all it would take me is one call. So if you would call the... If I don't have a number. On finance uh, Ministry of Finance. Yeah, they should be able to give it to you, but I, like I said, I don't know how they do that in America. Not literally, but there are huge databases of social security numbers out there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a, even though it's a number, best kept to yourself. Okay, but seriously, that was actually Junko's voice? Yes. War! Finanzamt, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Couldn't think of the English name. Yeah, because they usually don't address themselves with their English title either, so... That is true. All of my stuff that my Nana's on her files, but my Nana won't give it to me because of my dad. Hmm. I don't know because I'm not in the US, but I'm pretty sure there is some sort of government body you can reach out to to get access to your data. I mean, it is yours after all, so. Question is, is it going to be worth the argument you're probably going to get in if they find out? Hmm. <laughs> Keep playing. I think that going to the left is having a heart attack. Mega, that is to <laughs> show that there is excitement. Someone is making a point. Where are you if you say Finanza? We are based in Germany. Yes, we are. I'm German, she's Dutch. And Deutschland. That. But yeah. Okay, she is insane. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, and some of our home cooking. Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? Wait, 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 wait. Austria! Is this gonna make neighbors. a difference? Yeah! We've Let's been there neighbors. like two years ago now? Uh, last year. Uh, February just... 2020, that was the last trip before the pandemic. True, true. It was beautiful. Yes. Austria is great. Yes. Hi, neighbor! Neighbors! <laughs> Hope to visit again soon. But wait, yes. is this choice gonna make a difference? No, there's only one ending. Oh yeah, true, there's only one ending, still. And no, she can fuck off because she's insane. <laughs> Fine. Did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. Oh, there we go. And now her voice is different. Yeah, because she was messing with us. Where did you go? We went to Vienna for five days. That was pretty cool. Yep. But I have been to some other, one other area when I was a teenager too. Uh, Steiermark. Just closer to the center west of the country, I believe, if I recall correctly. Like very mountainous area. We went by train, it was super pretty. I hope to go to some of the smaller places one day, to go like hiking maybe. Yeah. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. This is the mastermind. She's the real Junko Inoshima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. <laughs> she sounds bored as fuck. <laughs> Diva's hair looks so good. Does it? Thank you. Look at me. I don't know. As pretty as always. Aww. Thank you. My grandma is from Vienna. Look at us. The world is such a small place. <laughs> yes, it is. It really is. Also, now she sounds bored as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Face! Huh? How is she? What about my face? Hmm. It's a dramatic thing. Yeah, if you now also twist your body like that and... 
It's like those mannequins in the in clothing stores <laughs> that do the most awkward po all. poses. Like, who stands there like this? But apparently, <laughs> people do it. Yeah, I guess. Sure, whatever works. Jojo pose. Yes. Yeah, like some of those poses. We some of make fun of it, and when we're standing in front of mannequins, we try to like stand just like them. Usually, it hurts my knees. <laughs> yeah, it's not that nice. <laughs> my hot dogs are from Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, terrible joke. I liked it. I'd recommend Upper Austria late spring for hiking. Steyr Umgebung is really cool for hiking. Nice. I'm looking forward to being able to travel again. When they said Vienna, I thought of Vienna sausages. <laughs> Thank you, Steel. Not alone. <laughs> yeah, I see why you would. Yeah, it makes sense. Just like how I think of Georgia, the country, when we're talking about Georgia, the state. Like, I see why. Just saying. Two geniuses, one thought, basically, Steel and Foley. What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. That's an odd thing to say. The way she speaks now. You are cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. Wow, I'm so happy you said that. <laughs> no, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to the school. Wait. We did meet her the first day in the main hall. Yeah, but wasn't that Ikusawa? They, we already established that they swapped at the first day. What was in the headmaster's room? Amber, in a moment. We're on a timer right now. <laughs> Equality. <laughs> I will also get Thank to you in a moment. That. Once the timer stops, we can do it. Where did we see her before? It's definitely not the main hall. It was before I got to the school. That means before arriving at school. <laughs> There's only one option. <laughs> I ever came to this yeah, she's on magazines and stuff. And you were on it. Yeah, they even talked about this for a while. Yeah. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you made it this far, huh? I love her hair, dear. What am I talking about? She was literally introduced as one of the icons in fashion and that she's been on magazines and on advertisements and stuff. Of course people have seen her face. Oh my god. Mm, there was yeah. a Junko magazine in the laundry room. True, there was yeah. one. We even clicked on it and got a coin, I think. Wasn't she even on one of her magazines in the rec room? I believe that at least. Mm, that could also be. No. Let's make people mad by exercising. I wish I had hair like that. Did you mean Mokuri Kasaba, a 16th <laughs> student lying hidden somewhere in the school? <laughs> I wanted to do equality, but it didn't work. You'll get there, don't worry. <laughs> My aunt tried to call me, but it didn't work. Huh. Good thing we have equality now. They who sit up together. <laughs> the couple who sits up together. <laughs> goes to Austria together. Ah. Oh. What? Holy fuck, did you hear my back? No. I am getting so old. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, it's hard after drinking so much. 15. Actually, I think I skipped 14. I uh, think you did. Well, imagine being able to reliably count to 15. <laughs> My back! <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> Claps. <laughs> Thank you. I am getting so old. I have a lot of X points. Should we kill them? Is today the day? 
Oh, there's a cooldown on smart. People already tried to kill yeah. us once. I think we did 121 I did, on yes. one day. There wasn't a cooldown once a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. There was a cooldown on the ones for her because I set those up and then there wasn't a cooldown on mine because <laughs> she had set those up. And then we added a cooldown. I won't do it, I promise. <laughs> mm, I will consider it. Thank you. Ember, I hope you read that description. Enjoy your water. We could drown ourselves with hydrate. Ember, that's not how hydrate works. <laughs> Click on it again, read the text. I'm happy to drink with you, but you play it yourself. I don't. I can finish it. I know, very good. <laughs> One for each enchantment. <laughs> How about Mega? I add a sure, new redeem sure, sure. sit ups for Mega. That is a beautiful idea. With no cooldown. Yes, so That's everyone can call you out on it. And make it <laughs> I'm down, do it. <laughs> Let Maybe. me set it up while you continue again. How about you don't? Because then you can focus on the game. But I can do that really quickly. Why are we giving her ideas? I'll send you pics, mind the nudity. <laughs> You're always welcome to slide in my DMs. No. Can I use those pics you sent me to sell them on the internet? <laughs> now let's Watch me do a slow dance there. while Tifa is doing things other than playing Dang and Ronpa. Do it. No, I'm waiting for you. This is the finale of the game. I'm sipping on straight H2O. Nice. You forgot something, Rev. What? In the description. What did I forget? Check the spelling. Yeah, but I did that on purpose. Wow. Weak. Fuck off, Tifa. It's how she is. <laughs> I still have my glass of lactate milk. Enjoy. There we go. Now you may click it. Do you oh, seriously just add a command to for the people to tell Mega to do sit-ups? Maybe. Enjoy. Now, can we get back to the game? Yes, we can. Here, I'll make it. There we go. Thank you. Where's the mouse? There. So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. But I thought that wasn't her. Now, focus on the game. I am focusing. I even commented just on the game. Didn't we establish yesterday, or when was it? Two days ago that... Jack, if I mail you some dirt, will you put it in Tifa's eye for me? <laughs> I will do you one better. I will split it evenly and put it in both of her eyes. <laughs> oh, I didn't put that in there. One is ten. Enjoy. But you may decide on the amount. Mega Geek is now Mega Buff. What's lactate milk? That's without lactose, no? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Mega. No, but didn't Enjoy. we say, when was it? Yesterday? No, two days ago that they swapped from the very first day. So that when we were speaking, we were speaking to... Is that why here she has freckles and I believe during the class trial now she doesn't? That I'm not sure. See? Yeah, because then we went, oh yeah, it, we even had a discussion about this, that she went like, oh, it's all Photoshop and stuff, because they were swapped. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it definitely does. But it is completely common for people who have uh, pictures online on magazines and stuff to at the very least, like, uh, paintbrush away the uh, freckles and stuff. So I did mm. not expect anything wrong. Oh, for a lot of people, freckles are seen as 
not holding up to beauty standards. Well, fuck these people. Freckles are awesome. I really like awesome. freckles. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Oh it's kind of annoying to listen it's to. It's photoshopped. I can tell by some of the pixels. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely. Because she was a different person all along. Am I seeing, am I not seeing something that they are seeing? Because the only difference I see is the freckles. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. Get the fuck out of this room. What? Now, give me that mouse. You go focus on the fact that you're streaming. Now. Random question, how long are you gonna play until the game is done? At the very least. Today we actually plan on finishing the game. Yes. Google Chrome is using 2000 megabytes of memory. Yes. <laughs> Jack, can I do that to Beth? Can I do what to Beth? <laughs> Take the controller away, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Kindly remind her to focus on what we're doing. Yes. Yes, you can. I am focusing. Take her mouse. You can try. <laughs> she tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Isn't it difficult to speak like this? So is she now the ultimate fashionista despair? The ultimate despair fashionista. I think those are two separate things. <laughs> two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Twins? Ah, oh, they are twins. Such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. Called it. You got this, Mega. Gonna be all ripped and buff. Have you ever played I Love You, Colonel Sanders? No, no but, but it I is did on the list. It. We actually did that. I'm not even sure who is the one who brought that game up once. I don't recall, but Someone I saw. Someone mentioned it in chat one day a few weeks ago, and we downloaded it, but we still need to play it. Yes. She's the ultimate despair and the ultimate fashionista. There's no rule saying you can only have one. Yeah, I guess yep. that makes sense. So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was... <laughs> Junko fucking Anishima! And together, we were the Despair Sisters, aka the ultimate despair! Okay, this is gonna be a wild ride, I see. Is she gonna keep swapping persona every couple lines or is this gonna be a <laughs> random thing? It must be hard though. If you're twins, why do you have different last names? For all the questions. She's the protagonist of a Persona game. Yeah, <laughs> it, it seems like it. And yes, she will, because she gets bored of her personality and switches it often. Okay, why not? If she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. For my plan to work, oh, shit to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. How do you how do you approach a voice actor or voice actress in this case and go, yeah, so we would we really like your voice and we would like you to work on this game for us? Okay, um sure. What what do you want the character to be? Yes. No, how do you want me to play them? Yes. <laughs> Just do everything. <laughs> Like, wow. Also, wait, before you click on, I quickly want to see... <laughs> Mega. <laughs> you are a fucking champ. 
I drink to that. <laughs> oh my god. Mega actually did them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I share this? <laughs> she hated her sister. Apparently she does. She only has two voice actors. Oh, was there two different ones? I could not tell so far. I thought that was one person doing oh. like, all of it. I did not They know. actually shared. <laughs> hey, everyone. Wait. How do I find you on here, Jack? This is... Hmm. Okay. There. Now you can show it later. <laughs> Let Junko speak for herself. You will need to reveal all the things about her now. How about we just carry on with the game and be faster than you, or try to be at least. I sent the Victor video to Jack so that he can show it in a bit. <laughs> but after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. A deadly dish. My ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Wait, that's the same voice actor for Toko in Genocide Jack? That's impressive. I don't even hear that. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stick <laughs> <laughs> if I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. So I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. I mean, other than Hero freaking out about this, is no one gonna keep bringing up that she just keeps changing how she appears and stuff? Well, I... it's not really important in this manner. Yes, it's weird as fuck, but True, I you're guess. kind of in a trial fighting for your life here. True. <laughs> Just as I suspected, when Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? I really thought they got into an argument or something, but <laughs> she just basically killed her off <laughs> to get rid of her. <laughs> it's Ju Wunku in Apparently, yes. You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez. Misunderstandings sure are scary. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. 
So she's just plain nuts, basically. Uh, yeah, I would say so. So her hair also changed with her character. Yes. I only see that now. Her hair changed every single character yeah. so far, I believe. That's not true at all. Let's see. Oh, I love this hairstyle. What? <laughs> mushrooms. Why have her mushrooms growing out of her hair? That doesn't <laughs> look good. Did you know that 10 plus 10 is the same as 11 plus 11? No. No idea. <laughs> Sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. Finish reading the joke. And 11 plus 11 is twi. <laughs> now that you say it. <laughs> so I had to wait for my soul to come back into my body. <laughs> Got me their shrift. I drink to that. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Would you say it's the ultimate despair? Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. What the hell? Mushrooms are kind of cute. And my sister too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. It's supposed to mean she's been sulking in a dark corner so long she grew mushrooms. It's a Japanese saying it in an imaginary scene in anime alone. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Go ahead and sense, pay me but... for being so funny. <laughs> we'll pay you by continuing the game. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else. She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. Pre kill her and get over this. Ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. In a way, I feel bad for her, but. It doesn't excuse what she's done. But wait, does that mean she is the only mastermind, basically? Out of boredom? I believe so, yes. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts! You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah, Master's way more perfect. Because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Don't you mean had oh. noble blood? Do you agree a backstory? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured it out yet? Man. So that is Toko. Yeah, true. Now I. You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap yap yapping away. Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer. So how about the next one? Oh yeah, we have to solve both mysteries. straight that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to solve all these mysteries and then we'll have our victory <laughs> i can't wait all right then let's just get straight to the point what memories did you steal from us when the group pictures were taken and those interviews it must mean i was thinking about it earlier while taking a shower wouldn't it be like instead of erasing the memories wouldn't it be probably less work to like hypnotize them and take the pictures or something you know what i mean yeah but no i got it it must have something to do with our entrance day exams still don't get how they lost their memory there. at least give us a hint your brains are like sponges all grippy and leaky 
once before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do oh crap, I clicked this one. Sorry. Thinking back to what Monokuma has told us, the memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. I would say the found, no, not the founding. No. Because that school was already there. Guessing the motives. I got it. Stealed, thanks for the lurk. Thank you. you. Try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Oh fuck, I, I always hated interpreting shit in school too. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. What was the theme of the motive? The theme for the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder. Monokuma gave us those DVDs. On my DVD was footage of my family. On Sayaka's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So, for the first murder, the motive we were given was human international relations. I got it. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? I never would have come with human connections as an answer. Like yes. the connect, I get the thingy, but I wouldn't have used human connections. Love triangles, of course. <laughs> it uh, must have been it. I, I don't know about Sayaka's video, but in ours that would have been weird. Since our video was about our sister, our dad and our mother. So if a three people in that present a love triangle, then something is, uh, well... <laughs> oh no, yes. I want to play the game myself at some point and try out some of the joke answers. You just Turn get told that you picked the wrong thing, basically. I At least from the ones where I misclicked or accidentally chose the wrong thing or just came to the wrong Yeah, with most of them it just said that we're wrong and we lose a point <laughs> or we lose a heart. For example... Your family, for example, your friends. You still don't know what the rest are. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! For the next question! Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? Oh, that was for secrets, no? <laughs> for the second murder, the motive's theme was... That's when we got those weird envelopes from Monokuma. Mine mentioned how I used to... Uh, mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed. Imagine so the being boring enough. That time was... Do you two know the reward for maxing out a friendship in Danganronpa 2? No, but I'm pretty sure no. we'll find out when we play the game. Oh, we never maxed out a friendship? <laughs> Not yet, no. No. I don't uh, know anything about Danganronpa 2. The past. I got it! It was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Why are we the only one answering anyway? Embarrassing memories and secrets! I still wanted to know the rest of them. Because we're Makoto. We do everything here, basically. <laughs> it would have been nice to know what all of those envelopes said. And the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. How's he holding those other cards? How long do you plan on dragging this out? Bear magic. <laughs> 
the next question. Is it? Are we gonna go into this? Is the fact that she's like helping us solve the mystery now the fact that she's just that fucking bored? Like she doesn't actually care. She's probably playing along to keep it interesting. I guess. So, what was the motive for the third murder? Money. That was the million we got, I think. I think it was a million. The theme for the third murder was... The reason Celeste turned to murder was... She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. So that time the motive for murder was... Greed. A new outlook. Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! I'm amazed she only has like what five characters? So let's kill Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. So I'm guessing the the theme was going to be to disconnect us from the things that served like as an anchor to our old lives, as in family, friendships, all of that. And then to expose the other people that are in here with us for their flawed selves, as in greed. It was just to remind you that you're stuck, I think. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Betrayal. The motive in the case of Sakura's death was what was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of a motive in that fourth case was... Blackmail. I'm so good! It was betrayed. <laughs> Hello, Ranger. Ranger, how are you doing? And I'm glad to see you found that thing that was spontaneously created earlier. That is a very good timing to show it. Later. Oh my god, it's perfect. See. Bitch. <laughs> Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. Just hang out with baby. Nice. Mm, nice. Enjoy. Say hi to baby first. How's baby doing today? But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? It's to make us all hate each other. These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. The seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. I'm confused. Same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid... <laughs> For once, I, I have wondering. to agree with him. Why are we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. Get to it in a moment, Ranger. What I'm trying to say is... The seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape. Don't tell Never me really. that Makoto's parents are dead and that Sayaka's girl group broke up. Well, she did earlier say that Biakuya had noble blood. 
Yeah, so... so I'm guessing he got kicked out of the family or something? Or there was a scandal that brought his family down, I don't know. Let's ponder this while we do exercises. So it could be that in the meantime, shit happened and that's why they agreed to stay in the school? Hmm. Right. My motive would probably be boredom. I can't hear the words hope or despair without <laughs> thinking of this game now. I can no. definitely see why. Now I'm getting hiccups from sit-ups. I don't think hiccups cause sit-ups. Well, now they do. That's my idea. Either hope or despair motivates pretty much everything we do. That's a good point. Or hunger. In her case, yes, mostly. <laughs> How about we take a super quick break because all of that hydration I've had and the sit-ups made me need one. <laughs> Fine. Then I'm gonna get some more hydrate. That sounds like a beautiful plan. We will be right back. BRB. Even hunger is motivated by hope. The hope of a yummy taste to distract you from cruel life. Or maybe hope for what the next day found on, found on food sustenance will bring. You do have a point. That's I guess deep. that goes to hope as well. I never thought about food that much. I just eat. No, I think about food all day. What? Well, let's carry on. <laughs> what are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories. So that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that crap? <laughs> okay, but Trigger that means sorry. You are probably right in the fact that like there was a lot of shit. I'm and guessing at this point this horrible tragedy um has to do with all of us and we all lost something. Yeah, it's... All Wait, to didn't do with we already videos. confirm that the tragedy was the killing in the no, school? No, we don't. Or did we just assume that? I thought they called that the tragedy. No, we just assumed that. We just assumed that. Well, I guess it makes sense. So we all had some shit happen. Our family died. It's like a girl group thing. Biaquia probably lost his status. I guess it makes sense that we would agree to stay in the school if all of that shit happened. And now to make us get out? No, want to get out. Or want That's to get the... out they made us forget? But how did they make us forget? So apparently Junko gets off on watching other people be in despair. So mm. if, we, if we didn't want to leave, it wouldn't be fun for her. Yeah, that is true, I guess. Sounds like food is Tifa's hope. <laughs> Pretty much. Food is definitely hope. Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? I love the hairpins. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Yeti slashing his prices and passing the savings on me, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? So she is only helping us to make us feel despair. Like, there cannot be any other reason. Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside 
big world. I wonder if it all is a TV show, by the way. No, I don't think so. The outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school walls! So Turn what's it gonna front. be? Post-apocalyptic, everything is ruins? No, I don't think so. Uh, think everything so. looks completely normal. I would go with normal and it's all just personal shit. This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. It looks probably normal to us, but completely messed up to her because she hates it. Mm, that could be. So. Like I can't imagine like a nuclear... <laughs> what the fuck? A Monokuma copper? Monokuma... Monokuma clips. What? I'm <laughs> not sure. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, the Monokuma face on like the Statue of Liberty and the Sphinx is like... It looks pretty cool though. Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. So Monokuma took over the world, basically? <laughs> we should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing is insane. Locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. Incoming montage of us all having severe headaches from suddenly regaining our memories. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. <laughs> I, I would love Junko to go to like a hospital or where do they treat people for amnesia? Is it a psych ward or is it a hospital? Well, wherever they treat people with amnesia and just tell people, well, I don't remember, ain't a fucking excuse no more. Just... After like two weeks, <laughs> get over it. Just get over your fucking amnesia, right? If you want to remember, how about you just remember? Yeah, how about you just try? Mm -hmm. well, having another class trial? For who? This is still what? the final class trial. But didn't they say it was two parts as well? Yeah, I expected there to be something. Who are we having a class trial about? What? Well, we also have to fig... I'm... No, wait. We have to figure out the no. murderer and who was behind it. What the fuck happened outside? How are we supposed to know, though? When it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be Did on? miss anything? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of No, I think you had to shoot that one, I didn't know. Are you gonna tell, I, I just had a feeling, are you gonna tell me that Toko slash Genocide Jill is gonna be the key to this? Because only because one of, the of them lost members. her memories? Oh wait, they share, they don't share memories. 
Correct. So in that regard... So how do you make someone with DID and not shared memories lose their memories? You'd have to do it to both of them, but how? Well, that depends on how they did it. Well, I'm guessing shoots, genocide, jails, bullet at the one we saw. If I can't remember, is it all over? I mean, how can she show me something so completely incomprehensible and then just say, remember? <laughs> Every single yeah. one of us has lost our memory. It You're really right. is hopeless after all. No way, there's a chance that she has... I am... Come on, sometimes I have good ideas. See, so two parts. One is mastermind, two is figuring out... Whatever, but when it comes to that crazy confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! So I guess we gotta make her sneeze or something? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody remembers. There we go. There we go. You're lying. You remember. Actually, she might remember. Who might remember? The other token, Genocide Jack. The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. Do you think she would have said anything about it, though? Why? Yeah, that's a good point. She, she had no reason to. She doesn't know the rest of us don't remember. We never talked about it with her, did we? I don't think so, I guess, but still. Bring out the pepper. Now Biakria is gonna tell her to. Sneezing on command. <laughs> That's a nice talent to have. I wonder if you just need to go. Hmm. Like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Why <laughs> that scene? <laughs> she reminds me of Lunch from Dragon Ball. <laughs> what was it with her? Was it sneezing too? There was also something that made her switch personalities. I forgot what it was. The giant Monokuma. She sneezed and then pulled out a machine gun. That's what it was. Definitely family. Does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but of course it does! <laughs> then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! <laughs> so happy! <laughs> your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? We never asked her. I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. See? You know? Worst liar in the world. More important, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? A tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember. Oh, that kiss. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. <laughs> I love it when people just keep giving you the information you already have. Well, now it makes sense. It was already weird that like eight people dying in the classroom was considered the biggest, most awful, most tragic event. But now that the entire world is affected, that kind of makes sense. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now! Stop 
playing with words. <laughs> Explain, please. Now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Darling. So this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, it happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Still doesn't answer anything. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> like, what's Monozilla doing there? <laughs> it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! It kind of looks like, what is it? The Search? The Purge. Oh, The Purge. That's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Like, a tiny bit of detail would have been nice. <laughs> He already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? How does this not matter? <laughs> the end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. I guess, guess that's how we can be stuck in here. It's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. There's the no need to has panic. Ended. No, no panic. <laughs> we just told you everything you remember <laughs> is pretty much not there anymore because you kind of lost the last year, I guess. And you are stuck in here with a crazy murdering <laughs> psychopath. Other than Basically. that, we're good. Everyone you know might be dead, but don't panic. It's okay. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. This is why I love Junko. <laughs> That nihilism is so relatable. I would like more more description though. <laughs> what? what did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Don't mess with all-you-can-eat cake buffets. I have never been to an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Does that actually exist? Yes. For real? Yeah. Like imagine all-you-can-eat donuts. Hmm. Hey, so, what do you think happened to the Togami family? Hmm. Hmm. When in doubt, go for C. I think I need some help from <laughs> all of help. you that have played the game before. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm thinking it could be that the Togami family fell. But maybe the, Toga the, the Togami family did fall. Or maybe they fell. Hmm. Basically, the Tsugami family was the one leading the world from the dark, right? Something like that. Tomagachi. Tomagachi. Bless you. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it. Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? Till then, you're just going in circles. How does she know how we play the game? Thank you, video game. Hmm. Pretty good. Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think that might be sick? With those mushrooms coming out? I'm not sure. Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! 
A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? Which one is your favorite Junko character? I kind of like this one, actually. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> I, I guess this one, to me, feels like it's the easiest one to listen to. Actually, no, the cursing one. She gets to the point. She doesn't mince <laughs> words. You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. <laughs> the jaded one. The mushrooms are cute. That's the despairing one. The jaded one is the... Yes, Tifa, I'm very Which happy reminds to me. see you today. Yeah, but I also like the mushroom one. That I think Lelouch also does that pose in Code Geese. Does he? I do not I'm gonna look that up later. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. But hold on. That doesn't make any sense. It's from Jojo. Hmm. Um, like it seems so familiar. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. Do you think we've been stuck in the school for a year? Yes. I think I said that during one of our streams already. Really? Yeah. That we've actually been in there for a year? Yeah. We've been, I don't know, in a coma, asleep, frozen, just forgot, but we have been here for a while. So the reason we agreed to stay in the school is because the world was fucked anyway? We we're gonna find out. But I guess yes. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Yeah, because there was nothing going on there. Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? It's also been a whole year since you started this game. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Close, <laughs> seven weeks. Almost. The save games are timestamped. <laughs> Close to a year. Feels like it. Mistaken. Well, if I'm understanding you right. Amber, enjoy your water. Cheers. It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. No, we didn't. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean... Shit. If they all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago... Wait, what? It also explains how we have stuff in our cupboard thingies and probably when the tragedy happened, the school got attacked or whatever. Yeah, that explains why the stuff on the second floor of the dormitory is broken. The building got damaged. Yeah, that seems to make sense. But seriously, what the fuck? We've been in there for two years? Yes. I did not see that one coming. One of the less shocking things, if you ask me. How did they take two years of our memory? We're gonna find out. Holy shit. I've been gone for a bit because I sent my teacher a paragraph about a project I want to make. I thought it would be cool to send it to you guys to get your opinion on it. It's in German. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Send it to us. If you want, you can find us on Discord or Whisper It. Whichever is easier for you. Whichever you prefer. Two years ago, what does that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? By the way, your English is amazing. Thank you. I'm sure you were talking about me because my English is native level. And I'm pretty sure Shrift <laughs> meant me and didn't want to exclude you. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Sorry, Tofu. <laughs> I tell them that all the time. I still love you. Except when I'm trying to say Beth. Beth. Mm, not. 
But that's, Here, not that's more there. like an S sound, still. Death. 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 You move your... Thanks, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Jack. <laughs> Tifa, yours is better. No, I'm kidding. It's Jack. Seriously, it's your Tifa. I'll take it. See Thank what you. you were trying to do there. <laughs> Now he's gonna tell me all night after the stream. Oh my god, I said my English is good. <laughs> I get praised. Send it into the Discord. Thank awesome. you very much. We'll have a look after the stream. <laughs> Beth. Beth was clapping at me in bed last night. No. What did she clap? Yeah, what did she clap at you for? <laughs> That's that's a true question. What was it? What did I get to clap for? Your pineapple on the pizza. The pineapple on yeah. pizza. We don't, we don't put, put the whole, whole food on oh, yeah. the pizza. That we was put good. it into pieces. I like clapping like Jack. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I like clapping like Jack. For each word. And to pick it up a bit, you need to do it slightly aggressive. Oh, no. Gotta go down. Kind of want to see your reactions to it, though. Uh, can do in a bit. Get a shower, I'll be back. Round talk. Enjoy your shower. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for lurking. I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. Isn't there a way to just check the fucking date? Like... How? The mag... Oh, wait! The magazines were all old. Those were probably from a yeah. few years ago. Yes. Or two years ago, because he went like, oh, we can't renew them. Yes. I'll probably start it there. But how are you going to find out the actual date? Control I don't know. Room, maybe, uh, but... Assuming there is still internet or a computer that has been online, or just on, usually they can tell. You would think Chihiro's AI had a date on that thing. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So... You must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. I also have no clue. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Junko says it's true. If we first came here two years ago. But the rest of us only remember getting here within the last weeks or so. So the memories she took from us. Well, our life at Hope Speak, but how? I'm gonna be gone for a second. No problem. Looking forward to you being back. Uh, I'm guessing she took away the memories of a tragedy. No, I would say Hope Speak. We've all been in this school already. We had our first year in this school. Hmm. I guess. Otherwise we didn't have lockers with all our stuff and shit. So it's this one. Hmm. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. That was so obvious, I didn't expect that to be the right choice. Because that's literally... <laughs> wow. That is literally what we just talked about. Yes, and how often has that happened? No, 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 no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. But it's literally what you just said. I'm a plebeian. 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 Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. I'm not even sure how I would react in this if I was actually in this situation. Like, how are you gonna go with, oh shit, I lost two years of my life? Like, this shit's fucked up. And then all the things you forgot are actually really fucked up. Like, you know, the well, world ending. Probably. Otherwise, Piaquia probably knew his family got killed. And that entire 
period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. Welcome back. Remember the last two years of my life? That, that's not possible. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it, but that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. I am confused. Wait, what was the last option? Like a notebook. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! You just don't remember. <laughs> True. Surreal. Technically. If two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Samurai, how are you doing? How's your Friday coming along? Wait, what do we shoot at? We are indeed facing despair. Happy Friday, hope your week's been great. How are you doing? Yes, we are. He would be 23. Hmm. I don't yeah. want to believe it, but I know there's evidence that reveals the time as students we lost. I'm guessing the locker. I could never lose something like that. Group photo. Yeah, but who do you shoot group photo at? Hmm. Holy poop, it's Friday? Yes. Did you time skip again? <laughs> time flies, Ranger. Friday night. Surreal. Plus, if two years have passed. No, that has nothing to do with that. Shit. Where's the contradiction? I could never Show me that thingies again. No, it's not group photo. It's definitely not group photo, I think. I think we're gonna... One week till Beth's birthday party. Yes, yes. exactly one week. Exactly yeah. one? Oh yes, it is. Here are the options. Gonna be awesome. Never lose something like that. You've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to Can we shoot anything of him? No. Heck, I've never even gone to a single oh. Shoot, wait, 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 go back to his thingies. Stop moving. Wasn't the pocket book his? No, that's Kyoko's. Oh. Beth beat Ori maybe... 2 last night. Nice. nice. A lot of people came in and said how they gave up on that game. So I'm proud of her for beating it. Yes. Proud of her for beating it anyway. That game that was not that easy as it seems, I think. Mm. Like, some of that shit looked difficult as fuck. Deceptively difficult. Beautiful, but yes. difficult. So what evidence do we have? Now, stop moving them so much, please. Yes, if I don't move it, they vanish. There. Oh, okay. In that case, <sighs> oh. it's legit. Impossible. I mean, well, good thing we have 23. What's the locker notebook? What was that? What was in the locker notebook? Just shoot that thing. That's his. Oh, shoot it then. I believe. I'm sure I'll find it easier. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yes. <gasps> Junko fucking Hiroshima. Yep. So, evidence. What did we find in his locker? Did we find her locker? Did yeah. she have? She made she, the notebooks were hers. No, they were his. We found some of his stuff, and we found the pocketbook. Okay, then shoot this one. That one. There we go. <laughs> She's the worst. Yes, yes, she is. Hero. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? Beth did great, though. Yes, she did. I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. So we took it along. Hey, what's up with that? Is something wrong? It's... 
Kinda similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt! But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing! No! No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Also, my memories must have been taken. I barely remember my classes in school. What classes? Girl. She was quite shit too, so I'm not feeling sorry. For having an abusive sis, I think Junko is far beyond being abusive. <laughs> yeah, like, that too. <laughs> I said it earlier, I kind of feel bad for her, like for having to be like this. But. Hmm. Lies! It's a one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever... <laughs> Beth told me she loves me because I'm uneducated. <laughs> what? We all have our qualities that other people find attractive. Well, technically we didn't really study either. You did, I didn't. Yeah, but I don't think you can compare that to like an actual study. Well, you did start to study. You finished your degree. Hmm? You finished your degree. Yeah, I sped it up and did it all in two years instead of four. I didn't study, but you finished your degree. Yeah, I did in two yeah, years. Yeah, but it's not like your actual studying studying. It's different. I, I lost my diploma, so technically I didn't. Get a copy. <laughs> it was just the way she said it was hilarious. <laughs> Tifa is also really good at making comments that she means well, but that's, that's not, not what, what I, I said. said. <laughs> he knows it. Hello, Beth. Hope you're doing great. Is that why you're studying now, Fody? Is that why you are? Studying so hard, acing every test. <laughs> also, good morning. Congratulations on kicking Ori's butt yesterday. Yes. Well done. Super proud of you. Yep, nailed it. Every day he sits there studying like sweat on his brow. I like, know. Oh, <laughs> I have to. I, I need to ace this. If I don't get at least like 95%, I, I just. Beth will. She just won't look <laughs> she at me. She won't the same. love me anymore. <laughs> I need to earn her love by acing tests in school and studying. <laughs> <sighs> she won't. Oh no. To be honest, there's worse reasons to be motivated to study. So. That is true. <laughs> at least you have the motivation to do something. Oh my more. god. Well, you said it, apparently. <laughs> Allegedly. We're just going Allegedly. along. I have no reason to not trust Foley. So. I wasn't there, so I'm just gonna take both of your word for it. <laughs> so much game, so little time. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think this is gonna be like another eight hour stream. Yeah, probably yes. Because I still have a feeling we're gonna get like this giant backstory. She meant higher education. Oh, normal education, not good enough for you, huh, Beth? Oh, good to know. You sure you still want to hang here? It's not bad to have standards, just... <laughs> Basically. <laughs> also, technically I got lower education because we're below sea level in the Netherlands. So I wasn't that high either. <laughs> okay, sorry. That one was really lame. <laughs> I couldn't resist. That explains so much. So much. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. I need to go in like 15 minutes. Then how about <laughs> I quickly throw this to just chatting so that we can have a quick peek at that uh, thing you sent over Discord. Because you said you wanted to see our reactions to it. I 
I guess Amber sent it to you. No, here in the Discord. I sent the general. No. Let's have a quick look. There it is. Oh, there it is. I was going to ask you if it's okay to read it out loud, but you posted it proudly so liebe Frau Sterrer. Ich hatte gerade eine Idee für ein Projekt und wollte fragen, ob ich es machen darf. No one gets that. Except for me and Amber. <laughs> Good point. Then how about you translate on the fly? For all of you that unfortunately don't speak the beautiful language of German, uh, <laughs> it's asking permission for a school project to go around and take pictures of people in school and then to have a presentation on what about them makes them beautiful. That's actually yeah. very cute. I think that is a beautiful hey, wait, idea in and of itself. Yeah. I, I don't know how people would take it. Um, I, I don't know like what age group of people you would photograph are in. Mm. Yeah, but she says with permission of yeah, the people. Of course with permission. I expected that that was clear. Um, a bit yes. like how uh, Humans of New York started, also with just pictures yeah. of people. I think that's a super nice yeah. project. The idea could work really well. Um, high school. Then, um, yeah, I think the only thing uh, that I guess, I, I don't want to say could go wrong, but I guess it all depends on like the, the group dynamic, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, well, the people have to be cool with it. Oh well, yeah, but she asks first. Yes, but having someone tell you what they find beautiful about you also requires you to have a certain type of, a certain level of confidence. I am quite sure that in high school you can find plenty of people who would come along. It's a positive yeah. project. I think it's awesome. If you can find people who are willing to do that with you? Yes, I think that could be a great idea. Yeah. Yep. I really like it. Did yeah. she already reply with an answer? I hope you get the permission and that turns out awesome. Yeah. She didn't yet. Mm -hmm. Well then I'm crossing all of my fingers and she <laughs> loses. No, I think it's a super sweet project for sure. Yes. Hope yes, it works indeed. out. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories. <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Why do I have a feeling that all of this is also made up? It's like Just the... to fuck with us even more. What's that show called? The Truman? The Truman Show. The Truman Show? You really think they went that far? I seriously do not see how this ends. Junko's one defining trait is that she oh, she's bored enough is to do it. super smart. So smart that she gets bored easily. I'm gonna go with that line of thinking and just blame all her wrong choices on the fact that she's too smart for her own good. Uh, so yes, it could also be a psychological thing where you just break us, you assert dominance over all of us to mentally abuse us because she seems to be really into <laughs> abuse. <laughs> well, not necessarily abuse, despair. It I, goes hand in hand. I would yes. say that, yes. And <laughs> you have been here for the whole like 10 students died thing, or nine. So I, I would not put that past her. Hmm. Okay, but if a mystery but is solved, doesn't that mean we now have to kill you, Junko? Or you have to do it? Manipulative woman, yeah. I, I hate manipulative people. <laughs> like, just let people be. Two years of school life. 
How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? Well, we haven't lost them, we forgot them. Doesn't mean we can't. Technically, I guess there's a chance we could get them back. And well. Something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event. Wasn't that two years? Oh no, one year. We had one year of school, then the event happened. And then we were another year passed and we woke up. I'm guessing the dead people or the dead, the massacre in that one classroom was just an effect of the most tragic event. People coming into the school, maybe. I'm not sure. B.O.B. for short. What does B.O.B. stand for? Bob. I'm confused. Right before everyone dies. Biggest... No. Down. no. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you've forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. No, we didn't. We didn't choose shit. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. <laughs> what? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. How would you stop making that sound? Hmm? What sound? Stop moving your foot. Oh, I don't even hear that. Ears, like a hawk. <laughs> Where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. What? Another puzzle? <laughs> where our memories come apart. Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? Well, it was the moment we walked into the school, I guess, and like this trippy magic mushroom moment happened. I can only think of one time. Just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time, and that was... The entrance ceremony. No, oh no, I wait, 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 we were on our way to the entrance ceremony. Yeah. Because we were early. can't think of any time other than that day. Do you remember this? So long ago. And stepped foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, mm -hmm. but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. True. Not much time had passed since I collapsed in the main hall. I don't think we were sleeping for two years, so. Hmm. Two whole years had gone by. No, it seems like something triggered the beginning of a sequence that would later be erased, and then something ended that sequence. Hmm. Jack, hmm. I find it beautiful how you have the confidence to have long hair. You have a very nice face shape. Tifa, I find your curly hair amazing because it really suits you. Overall, you guys' confidence is very admirable. Thank Aww. you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate That's very it. sweet. I woke up with a shoe on my head. Can you use us for our project? Or for your project? I feel like that is a reference <laughs> to something, Cody. It seems familiar, but I'm not quite getting <laughs> yeah, it. I have no clue, but I hope that is actually the case. 
waking up with a shunya. <laughs> yes. If that happens to us, something has gone horribly wrong because our bedroom is at the exact opposite of <laughs> where the bedroom is. Again, more bad jokes. What is it from them? You, oh, you tried to get the strip put a shoe on your head. Yes. What? That fat I remember. What? Yeah, it's a thing. To have someone put a shoe on his head? Yeah. Why? Because it's funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> you tell them it's a recording. Play shoe on head. Or not reek. Hmm. Should we do a shoe on head? 250,000 <laughs> points redeem. <laughs> a new head. idea is born. <laughs> put shoe on head. Don't think I want to put do my shoes on my head. Do people still do that? That feels very 2006. <gasps> I'm gonna look that up. Is that still a thing? Let us see if teacher ever sees my message. Uh, message. Hmm. I'm sure she will. Are you guys working? Or working? Are you guys still studying from home as well, or are you actually in the school? Because for your project, you would have to be in the school. 2006, I was 11. 2006, I was 17. And I bought a PS3 and my first flat screen TV when it came out. Together with Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. And I regret that dearly to this day. Ranger is such a whippersnapper. It probably is. I don't know. I'm very tired. Fody, get some sleep. <laughs> sleep, Fody. Get a nap while you still can. Do a power nap. Like you have like 45 minutes before you guys usually go live, or roughly go live. Take like half an hour nap, be Come all nap. refreshed. Hipper snapper, that could be uh, Tofu's nickname. A hipper snapper? Yeah, your hips do snap every now and then. <laughs> Mostly like your knees. A, but... a near snapper. <laughs> Four days of school, one day homeschool because we're in the first class. Junior year. Right. Oh, okay, fair enough. Then I it was would 24. Be a Age ain't nothing but a number. That is very true. What did I do when I was 11? I don't recall anymore. <laughs> As Beth is placing items on the bed to hide them from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean there isn't space for you. Exactly. You could either lay on the items or underneath the items, depending on what they are. Beth, put them away. Put them on the ground. First, you must summon the Beth. Pss, 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 pss. Beth. <laughs> what? We've established that it works. It works up too. Yeah, true that it happened once. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 69 <laughs> is a number. Yes. I'll make a nest. Oh God. Oh God, that story. Quick, get all your jeans and blankets. Yes. Enjoy your nest, Fody. I can still imagine that. I can imagine the smell for some reason. I don't even think that would be too bad. I think it would smell something like the... Uh, the dishwasher of beans. <laughs> Hi, I was summoned. <laughs> See? Hi, yes, Beth. but we solved a problem. Fody's gonna make a nest to get a nap. Fody needs a nap. I had a 15 second lag. Gonna refresh. Yeah, that sucks. Welcome to the internet. I think I'm like two minutes behind on my laptop. And four minutes IRL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit longer than that. <laughs> Hello, Hulk. Happy Friday. How are you doing, man? Ooh. <laughs> Welcome back, Fody. <laughs> Hope the leg's better. My brother needed his Legos. <laughs> yes. Where do Legos. we reset you to make your leg less? Wait, where's the button? Wow. <laughs> How's your Friday, Hulk? Should have. I missed it. Oh, like this. Wait. <laughs> 
can make me slap you with all five fingers in the face. One to two seconds for me. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh. everyone shut up. I have an announcement to make. Go for it. Announcement time. Going good, just doing some editing. Hulk, enjoy. This is an announcement. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> Do not feed the monkeys is currently free if you have Twitch Prime. I do have heard that somewhere before. I... What? It's a game, probably. How about you look it up? Yes, I'm clicking on it. How do I get to? You gave me that game in a giveaway. I never played it. Oh, oh. now I own it twice. <laughs> nice. Now you cannot play it twice. Well, now you could. Oh, then. Is this a scroll bar? Oh. Need no. to go. Love y'all. Amber, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I hope your teacher gets back to you for that project you want to work on and have a nice weekend. Everything he said, have an awesome weekend and I hope you get some good news. What is the five Thanks for dropping in face? Slam. Oh shit, moving out is free too. Wow, it's almost like uh, those are games that were on Humble Bundle before. Nice. Mm. Now, dang it run for me, dear. Let me just claim every game. Dang it run for my dear. Yeah. Thank you. You guys were lusting for the game because for our love of monkeys and Dutch wisdom. <laughs> yeah, I remember somewhat. Do we get one? No. Okay, two tries. Not a monkey one. Ah! And then I can just do up and enter to repeat the last message. Mm, well. <laughs> that was easy. Sometimes it is. I think it's only the like an angel peeing in my mouth that is hard to get. <laughs> we have so many wisdom or so many wisdoms. We have so many monkey ones that the chance of a monkey one being pulled is also much higher. We still need to number them. The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. See? You got it, honey. Two years of memories? <laughs> Gone! Which means of course. When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? The most amazing thing about all of this is that they all look exactly the same as they did back in the pictures. Well, two years is not that much. Two years in high school is a lot. Mm. I can remember plenty of classmates that went through many different phases. But didn't we say that Makoto is 23? Hero. So from 21 to 23 is usually not that much. Yes, but he was also held back three times. He is by far the oldest. <laughs> I'm still short. <laughs> Nothing wrong with short. That is true. It's always shoes with plateaus for that. How old are the others then? I don't remember. Was it in their file? Can we see that? No. Hmm. But I'm guessing two years older than we expected to be. Well, maybe we were frozen in ice. You were all such close friends. The bio lab. You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. Does that really count, though? Because if you don't remember these people, they're not really friends. Like friendship, or like any sort of relationship. Well, we were. Group. Yes, do you also stand at the beach and cry about the sand you step on because it was a mountain once? Depends on my mood. And it was also you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated! Woohoohoohoohoo! What a terrible. 
terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. <laughs> Perfect answer, Tifa. I <laughs> <laughs> shut it down straight away. Like this. Next time we have donuts, I'm eating yours first. And I will only buy some for me that you won't like to eat. You think you know the spare? <laughs> yeah, that would be. You got a monokuma quite... all over your dessert. <laughs> that would be quite tragic. <laughs> No, she doesn't. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. Some people have a weird idea of love, though, don't forget. 35 seconds ago, normal gameplay time. I'm tired of expositioning all over you. Let me exposition all over you. <laughs> Congrats on getting halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, this is actually halfway in the trial? No, for the entire game. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I have the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair? All mankind? That sounds kind of ultimate. Let's go back in time. Two years, okay? Here we go. I'm going to lean back for this one. To this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. So who came first? Monokuma or <laughs> Junko and Mukuro? <laughs> Mukuro, love her. We still don't know much about her, really. Well, remember that whole story about how they picked a bear instead of a crab? What was it? Yeah. So I'm guessing there was no bear yet at that point. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm a tiny bit confused. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. Yeah, in oh, the theater. Theater, Yeah. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? It's kind of hard to believe that two high students, school girls. <laughs> two girls in high school, despite... like. Despite all of her amazing abilities and all that, but but just two people screwed the world over completely? I mean, it's not impossible, but usually it takes a bit more than that. There's probably someone behind them. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was nonsense. Ideological thing. Anime. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. With the power of anime and God by my side. No, God and anime. He says so, God first. So? Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. Welcome back, Groundhog. I hope your shower was nice. <laughs> Welcome back. I didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Now I know why I don't like uh, Royal Junko as much. She reminds me too much of Byakuya. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the story. 
Pope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That also explains the bolted windows. And why we had to stay inside, or why we agreed to stay inside the school. That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! So if the world outside would get completely fucked, there's no way we would get out, hence the, you might spend the rest of your life in the school. One question I have though, where does our food come from? Good point. Mm, I said it twice! Now, someone was responsible for that transformation. For creating what would eventually become your prison. The Headmaster. Do any of you know who that might have been? Vono turned Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolated us here. I got it! It could only have been the Headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. Do you really think they would create a shelter without any food? No, I do believe they would create a shelter with food, but not with fresh food. Like the moment you walk into the kitchen, there's this giant thing of paprika or bell, bell pepper, pepper and all kinds of fresh, fresh, fresh. fruit and vegetables. Fresh fruit, <laughs> buy it now. I can't speak anymore. I mean, they have a garden upstairs. Yeah, but yes. there was nothing there so far which made it look like they grow their own vegetables there. There wasn't a single vegetable plant. Also, I've never seen a shelter that stocks donuts. <laughs> I think they should, but I've never seen a shelter that has stocked donuts. So. Oh, I've got to stock everything. Like, I would expect canned food and stuff. Yes. Yes, I also wouldn't expect uh, unexpired protein supplements like they found in the nursery, uh, in the nursery, in the nurse's office, nursery or something else. But yes, it's a video game, it's anime. So. <laughs> shouldn't think too much about it. Shouldn't overthink the details to start nitpicking. That's why he asked us to make that promise. And that's why we also all looked so serious. Serious, because the world was getting screwed. Say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind. Yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope. That's why we all agree to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. How was that his mistake? We're going to find out now. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. I really like this one. Also, that's why Monok... Is that why Monokuma is black and white? Because of their hair color? No, I don't think so. Well, besides Junko's hair is not completely white. Oh my god. Yes, but a yellow and black I think it's like yellow, hope. dark purple bear looks kind of weird. Things like hope, white, despair, black. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. I was actually wondering at Makes first sense. if there was no one else behind her, how she locked up this entire school. 
Her hair is pink. Yeah. Who is Junkos? Junkos. It's a pink. Like a very light pinkish. That's blonde going into pink. So? It's not white, as you said. That's the point. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? Light pink. Yeah, I see that. And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. But still, how Gee, imagine, <laughs> how, how about we wouldn't have done that if we hadn't lost our fucking memories? But how did we forget? Building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. You let us live so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. That means it probably was broadcasted. I don't think so. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... What's the point of doing all this? Well, why don't you tell me? If she's it, bored, I don't know. Yeah, but she's like, this is to show the world to let go of their remaining bit of hope. Why would anyone do all of this? I don't know. Yeah, but doing all of this, if, if you won't show it to the world, mm. it doesn't have a point of... Like, if you have this between closed walls, if I kill you now to show the world to lose hope... Excuse me? I'm just saying, how would the world <laughs> lose hope if I don't show it? Like, then it's just... No. <laughs> what the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was... So I'm saying it probably is broadcasted. Ah, finally a minigame again. <laughs> uh, what was that? Hijack? Hijack. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Toby. <laughs> Yes! What was it? That sound wave hijack? The radio waves. You're talking about you hijack oh, airwaves. Uh -huh. Close. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair! When I said climax, that was what I was talking about! Watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have hmm. tried to come and rescue you. That's kind of so strange. it was actually broadcast. Okay. Utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. That's a big oof. <laughs> oof, yes. So you just used us? to bring despair to everyone in the outside world? They remember where she literally said that like five <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah, but he's in shock. He's repeating it. Sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take. Give and take? You're so full of shit. And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. I guess in this fucked up way, she actually did care. <laughs> Nagy swore. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Yes. 
Yes. It was long overdue, to be honest. He's a very polite soul, but enough is enough. If a pure egg got <laughs> mad. Yep. Sorry, that's a lie. Huh. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. I love that's how true, even in this situation he's so reluctant to say it. He's so pure. Just watch him. Utterly lost and hopeless. You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? We didn't solve it. She gave us the answers. That is very true. We didn't solve shit. <laughs> Like, we couldn't have done this if she hadn't been standing there for the past hour. But we still don't know why we lost our memory. Or how. Not the why, the how. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? Well, that's the thing. Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth? Full of despair? That's... Not to mention... All those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... We've been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, that's no. funny. Oh, no. No, no. you know what? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> get it. You get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us. I'll do anything. Just help me. A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful. We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. Damn. BFFs no more. Yep. F. And there's no reason for it. And this is what I expected. The no reason for doing all of this? Because I did not expect this so far. Actually, no. Uh, the first thing I went with was that they lost someone and that made them like this. Uh, no, I think she just fucked up. Yeah, at, at this point, she just... Yeah, just loves despair. She's just into this, so... There's not even a point talking to her about any of this. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against yep. it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but... But there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. That too. Which again would go into the theme of her getting off on everyone else being in despair. That is true. We still have no proof it's actually so the case. Why don't we just overwhelm this bitch, throw her in the fucking incinerator and get the fuck out of here to see for ourselves? Worst case, she didn't lie. Best case, she did. Nah, yeah. I think easiest would be to just get rid of her. Huh? You say the world's falling apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. Dang and Rumpa, Schrodinger's hope. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> what do you think? True or not? 
I can't help it. I told you, every visual novel. I didn't, I remember you saying that, but I did not recall that when I just said it. It was the, oh, the truth and lie overlapping, aren't they? No, you called, you it. called it perfectly, though. Oh, hiccup. If so, what then? I understand that they are all, like, shocked by this revelation. But shouldn't they all be angry at her? Like, I think it's like these faces. You have like shock comes first, then maybe being... I believe anger is very high on the seven steps of acceptance. No, anger usually comes last. No, it doesn't. The last one is acceptance. Before acceptance. No, anger is anger one Anger is not first in the list. Look it up. Please make me call another thing. How do you... Uh, steps of acceptance. I think it's seven. It's four steps, that's not what we're looking for. Yeah, it is not. Denial, anger, bargaining, yes. depression and acceptance. So, anger is the oh. second one. Shocking. Schrodinger's cat is the genre mascot. Anime! <laughs> Ain't it the best? That is very true. No, you would never lie to us. Mm -mm. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you for the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? Yes, you, you piece of shit. What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. That's not how that works. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. She did kill. Thingy. That's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasants. These mushrooms are so distracting. <laughs> creatures of instinct, right? This man comes naturally. Oh yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! <laughs> no! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple! Yeah, she killed her own sister too, but <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. kill anyone, I made you do it. No, I'm innocent. you are directly to blame for all of this. You also killed the headmaster. You stole our memories, invented reasons yes. for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner. S shit is my favorite descriptor. <laughs> Doesn't get used enough for me. Yep. You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish Hope, well then, I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of Hope. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Of course they would, because they're unable to accept all the things they've been told. Oh, let me just mention... That's the question, huh? When I win to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. So the punishment is to live. What's the alternative? 
I have a hard time not nitpicking some things in this game because a lot of the plot twists rely or are reliant on super small details. We have a chemistry lab. We have bombs. I'm pretty sure if we're just stuck in here without her fucking interference, we can blast our way through one of the walls eventually. Like. Yeah, but I don't think that's how they're thinking. Okay, but one option we just is to live. live here? Well, die here now or die here whenever disease and old age take us. Yes, yeah, that's but... what she's saying. Which is bullshit. You know how to make bombs. Uh, well, no, but they're in the monokumas. They so if the she's dead, we could take those apart. Yeah. And then you do have bombs. Yeah. Bad. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. Also, yes, I do yeah, know how to create an explosion. All I need is water and a chemistry lab kit. Just boil the water, collect the hydrogen and ignite that. The punishment is having to stay there. With the monokumas you can keep you trapped. Yeah, but if she gets um. punished, she gets killed. So. There would be no one to control the monokumas unless we do it ourselves. I would also say that she would get bored of that. Like having to spend the rest of her life here with us. Probably, yes. Yeah, but this is a hard choice though. Because you need everyone to vote the same thing. Yeah. Either you vote life or be stuck in this place, which I'm not sure if anyone can call living. Or you vote the other thing and go outside, but basically die because you don't know if the outside world is fucked, yes or no. Well, I have my hope. Jack, I created an emote using your likeness. Have you now? Do tell me more, you flattering, flattering person. Action. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you okay? You okay, Ranger? <laughs> now let's see how this plays out. So no matter what, we're due. Wait a sec, I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. It works in my chat, it's in BTTV. And Discord, I'm gonna check it out in a bit. Um, I think for it to work oh, in better Twitch TV, you have to have it set up in the channel. So I would have to go and Select that as one of uh, emotes. What can do? Oh, new tier one emotes. Nice. <laughs> you actually put the headset. <laughs> Very nice. Whoa. <laughs> Rigged. Oh, those are awesome. <laughs> That is one of the most. Yeah, that's when we were watching anime. That is one of the most attractive pictures I've ever seen of myself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I see you have FFZ. Yes, we do. Thanks to oh, Foley. Those are super cool, Ranger. Right yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm very honored. Thank you. That was a lot of fun to make. Nice. I can imagine they are awesome. Look the way. Super cute. Let's continue. Yes. So here's what will happen. One of you will get to experience an instant super impressive punishment. Why? What? You you can't just. You mean to say? You'll execute one of us? 
And I get to decide who's gonna have to suck it down! Why? Wouldn't it be more despair to let the others decide? Makoto, Again. Thank you, Aang. Yeah, but still. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If you would make them choose who to kill, it's even more despair. Hmm. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. On the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Why don't we just kill her and stay here anyway? Sacrifice me. Everyone gets to decide themselves. But, but that's... Confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friend? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Guys, it's so beautiful. Your lovely faces eroded by despair have come together as one. This really is like mm. the Saw movies, but emotionally. Like instead of sawing off your own leg, it's more like you are completely messing yourself up as a person. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you. It's awfully quiet with the rest of them. Mm. So boring. Stub until the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. Just got my first COVID oh, nice. vaccine appointment Monday. Monday nice. already. That goes super fast. Nuts. That Ours will really probably nice. be in like a year. <laughs> yes, Makoto, <laughs> go, Makoto, go. And your stupid life. The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up, to live in despair. That's not really living at all. Oh my god, okay, it keeps so now, going. Well, now we need to convince them, I guess. But wait, this is the same as earlier. I have my second one in a week. Nice. Super nice. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die. That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. No, they won't. As soon as I die, Clark, love you guys. 40, thanks for hanging out. Have a nice rest of your day and a happy stream. Yes, have an awesome stream. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Thanks for lurking.
to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are awaiting. I understand that none of them are saying anything, but did she say something we can shoot at? Is that what you want? There's no hope left in the world when you sleep, it's on a bed of despair. Wait, there was the word hope. Yeah. Why did oh, we lose so much? Oh, fuck, I can't let this one run out for help. Okay. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna be consumed by despair. You claim there's no hope left in the world, but if despair is contagious, like you say, then so is hope. I'll use my own hope to plant seeds of hope inside everyone else. Got it. But what was our hope? I got it. As long as there's hope, never... Oh, you shoot this at everyone? I think so. That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> You're right. All my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. Go, Makoto! Go! But to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me! Well, you should know. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here! The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore! What matters is my own gut feelings! We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! It's that moment. So you need to shoot everyone with it. Or we lose a thingy. This is that moment in the anime where the whole gang gets together and then together with a power of friendship they defeat the bad guy. It's nice that the uh, thingy changes. The only reason we're okay in here now comes Hina, I believe. Thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Ah, Why fuck. Did you do that? If I die, Shit, I had to press, not hold. I'm dumb. Well, good thing we still have two and a half hearts, huh? Come on, give me my damage. Ooh, it takes a whole one now. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Not two ass, obviously. <laughs> Defeated by idiocy. Don't lose hope now. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? She would charge outside. Stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. You're a thorny path. <laughs> like when this is in Toko. <laughs> is it the TH that confuses you again? <laughs> I refuse thorny. to read <laughs> TH. <laughs> thorny. <laughs> I think that's definitely what she'd say, which is why I... I... Do it for Sakura. I've made up my mind. We won't give up. Now, please don't hold anything. Yes, I have to hold this one. We're gonna listen to this a couple more times, so... Fast forward. Say whatever you want. I've made my... If I die, the purifier, in other words... Me. Me. She doesn't really seem in despair. Me. I wonder if she once would even want to go outside. I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. I actually I may not look like it, but I always hated school. Thought she would go with be a queer. So one more? No two. I believe. 
life you've all been living. I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside. I wonder if they're gonna end up together. Probably. Now that he's broken. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. Looked very different. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. Be Acria, you big thunder. <laughs> yep. I just keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead because I'm still alive. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. That sounds like him. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. Second I touch you, miss. Oh god, we're bringing the opening theme. This is that moment. I decided to have faith in myself. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifier. Anime hype! Yes. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love! Did I click the wrong thing and we fuck up? <laughs> Well, you can fuck up twice. Death and despair are waiting. I already said I would claim the mastermind's life by whatever means necessary. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? And the last one. I didn't really know my father. So I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that? No, never mind. So, Makoto. I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. The ultimate hope student. Yes, ultimate hopeful. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. And if that's true... I <laughs> Done it again. What the? Kind of like the ultimate lucky one, though. Ultimate hope time! <laughs> yes. Oh, and now a truth bullet. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other! It's all so uncool! So unhip! Wow. Not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but but still. But I still. Fuck you, Junko. Fuck you. The moment of truth. Here we go. Kick her ass. So uncool. You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke. Outside is only despair. It seems like you're missing, but obviously not. I'm not even looking at the screen. As no, it's in just a the stuff that's happening. <laughs> you suck. Are you only looking at the bulbs? Yeah. No, oh, yeah, I went, missed. Went faster. But you got it. Final strike. Into tomorrow, despair into your memories. De Hope keeps on going. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Despair into the nothingness. There you go. No, you. <laughs> I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. 
faith. I refuse to despair because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? And sixteen phases. Don't we have us all only have twelve? It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Now, plot twist. Toko comes back. Doesn't remember all of this. <laughs> and votes the other option. Only records the point where we... where they said Makoto is to blame for this shit. Yeah. You've lost, Junko. I lost? I lost? Me? No way. It can't be. Uh, um... You still don't accept it? Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. But there's no use trying to fight it now. Oh my gosh, she went all toko. <laughs> Hopefully for the last time. Uh, I don't think she minds dying, to be honest. Huh? <laughs> yes! We came to the school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. To come this far and fail at the very end? Oh, it's the most ultimately ultimate despair. W what are you talking about? Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This once in a lifetime experience. It's my first and last colossal despair. Here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste of the highest great despair. The utter failure of my dreams. Oh, ah, I'm so hopelessly happy right now. Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway, so how's your sex life? <laughs> anyway, so are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> Redeem Eevee whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> You think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. You're tearing me apart, Eva. <laughs> Death, the ultimate orgasm by Junko. Hmm? Yep, well, that's not true. There is a... Uh, yeah, no, hmm? too much details. There's a what? No. no, don't, don't ever. You're wrong. <laughs> Apparently not for the last time just now. Once more, hoping this time is gonna be the last one. Huh? Game's probably gonna end with that. Ooh, the opening is starting again. Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. Yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> Dang and round <Ron> pound. <laughs> it's almost over. I can't believe you two actually played the game. <laughs> Imagine us playing a That's game. That's Evie's line. <laughs> but yes, yes we did. Everyone. You said that despair is as contagious as any disease. But the same is true of hope. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. Kyoko. No, no, no. Ah, stop it. Stop. I hate those faces you're making. 
To those awful looks, cousin. Co oh, wait, this was the mad one. To those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. Fine, let me just say one last thing. <laughs> she already said it, but... If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide. Maybe you'll find some hope, but there's a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope? Of course, because we... Shut up, shut up, shut up! That was a rhetorical question! You interrupted my monologue! Sorry. So you know what the tragedy is? Uh, not really. But well, the world ending, basically. I have a feeling we'll find out. Being brought in despair? Question still is, is that true, yes or no? I'm almost done though, so whatever. Because it's almost punishing time, right? Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> Let the villain have a final monologue, <laughs> damn it. That was the agreement, right? Hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! We tried. Huh? What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. All I want now is to taste that despair of death that you only get once in a life, so... Don't get in my way! I wonder if... She actually prepared her own. <laughs> so this is how the despair of death feels. <gasps> it's so wonderful! Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> this is gonna give me nightmares. Okay. I'm ready for this. That's where Mundo died. Wait, that, no, that's everything. It's a There's a reference to all of it. It's oh. all of them. Obviously, she came out on stretch. That's pretty neat. You know, with all of the other ones, I felt kind of bad. And this one? Nah. I mean, shame it had to end that way, but fuck her. <laughs> Damn, she got bored at the last second. <laughs> I loved how she like looked up, like seriously. <laughs> Come on. Good thing we won't have another monologue <laughs> with her where she tells us all about that. So mean to Junko. Does that mean you win? I think it could, but it's not done yet. I, I want to say yes, but it could also be that we're now going to die after going outside. <laughs> Let me say it like this. I've played the Metal Gear Solid games and uh, usually they'll, they'll leave the biggest twist for the very last second. So there's precedence <laughs> in video games. Let's see how this one does it. 
No, I really loved what they did to Junko, actually. Like, she definitely rose to, like, favorite character, like, what they did with her. But she's still trash. <laughs> I do have a special kind, uh, a special place in my heart, I guess, for villains like her. Because she is obsessed with one thing. She just does it. Like, there is no tragic background. She didn't lose anyone. She just doesn't give a fuck. It's for her entertainment. Yeah, but not every pe or not every people, not every person that turns into a serial killer, for example, has a tragic background. No, but I'm saying I don't mind, or I'm a fan of well-written villains that you feel sympathetic towards when you understand why they're doing things. But I also do appreciate a villain that just goes, yeah, no, I like doing this. Fuck mm. you. I, I don't have a reason. I just like <laughs> fucking things up. <laughs> for sure. Fun fact, in the final smash that killed her, she looked up briefly because the smasher was off tempo. It doesn't seem important, but instead of feeling despair, she felt confusion right before dying and didn't get what she wanted. Well, fuck her! It's a bit like, basically, she got what she gave Celeste. No, fuck her! <laughs> <laughs> like, taking out the... Like the entertainment factor of a character like this in, in this game, uh, fuck her. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no, I, what they did I, to Junko was pretty awesome. I'm happy she didn't get what she wanted because for all the shit she put the others through, fuck her. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial Junko Inoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy it was all over. I get it, I get it, you wanna fuck her? No. I'd have a biscuit with Junko. No. Monokuma hey, we got the hair tie, that's awesome. Beautiful. We actually wait. used up all the save slots. <laughs> it was meant to be. But um, wait, seriously, it ends there? Wait. We don't... We broke the game. I would say that one. Where's... Okay. okay, it's not over. Never mind. I was gonna say, what if we don't even learn what's outside? Let's see. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. It wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off. So it actually did. Just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Epilogue! Ooh, cool. Yeah. And <laughs> then gonna run part two. <laughs> I don't know yet. Soon, hopefully. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. It felt almost, or I felt almost, absent minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end, Hey, we can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. Maybe pack some sandwiches first. Donuts. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Would you do the honors? Okay. Listening to Lofi and doing editing. Lofi. Lofi, also good. Does that make me an artist? Yes. Yes, you are. The best artist. Can we take a super quick bathroom break? Mm, sure, we can. Beautiful. Sorry to drag out the epilogue another minute <laughs> longer, but I want to be able to enjoy this too and not sit here like I really need to go to the bathroom. So, be I swear if I have to voice another huh. <laughs> you can probably count on there being more hers. I'll come back. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I can't see chat. No. <laughs> no there you go. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um, is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. 
You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out, Sisha, she said, just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But... But you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct. No. I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd let us leave here alive. She did say that, no? Yeah. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. My beautiful if something ever happened to Master, I'd take my scissors and jam them so far up. Um, huh? uh, hey, where's the c courtroom? Where's the m mastermind? Uh, yeah, she doesn't know. It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. What? Leave? We can g go outside? That really has to fucking suck for. Yeah. Then that means me and Master can get married? And then he'll g give me a little jewel of a baby? That's enough. <laughs> Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway. Don't worry, I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But... It's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. But, you know, in the end, I... I think part of me still thinks... Maybe when we get out of here, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. But on the other side of the door, it's a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie. Peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we are meant to live. Yeah. Moment of <clears throat> truth. Was she yeah, lying? I guess so. Was she not? And how do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. There also has to be lots of hope, right? In other words, the act of searching for hope, to try and find it, that by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. What she said. Yeah, what she said. I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami dynasty. I'll go with you. I'll f follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it! Well, my first stop is gonna be the closest donut shop. I can't figure out the rest from there. What are you gonna do if there are no more donut shops? Or donuts? I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. That's, That's the a attitude. positive attitude. Ah, I get it now. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. That's my hope. I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story is about to begin. Thanks, Hina. You've totally opened my eyes. Ooh. Hey, personal space buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. What did you think about the tragedy? I still don't think that we know what the tragedy was. I... Yeah, it's basically Monokuma taking over the world from what we saw, but... That Toko. plus the purge. Yeah. Toko, you already have someone, sure. <laughs> Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone. Even if the world is steeped in despair. 
As long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. Aww. Now there's like this giant plot twist coming out that it actually was like the Truman Show and nothing was real. And it's like, surprise! No, the tragedy I'm... is Toko's sex life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to know about that. Um, I, I... Or... Or they, I think it could be interesting. They pull a Super Mario Brothers 3 and behind that door is just a stage exit and it's all a play. That's what I just said. Then everyone's yeah. standing behind the door like, motherfucker. But then it would be hard to fake those deaths. If I ever get to make a video game, spoilers, that's gonna be the resolution <laughs> to it all. Like at the end, all the people <laughs> that are dead on the screen just get up. <laughs> And it zooms out just a little bit more and it turns out to be all a play. Well, I guess that's the question now. Is the world fucked? Yes or no? Let's find out. Do you like? If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us and we're so small. So what can we do? Didn't we just turn into like the ultimate hope student? Where does this come Pretty from? Pretty much. No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys, you guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me. And the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened. Side characters. It does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we... Graduated? <laughs> That's one way to look at this shit. <laughs> That's a fucked up graduation ceremony. It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up. I have to push even harder. Self-destruct after all. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open, with my hands, with our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. You say then they all got shot. And... If you tell me they're gonna leave this on just a screen fading to white, I'm gonna start screaming. That looks like we're fucked. Or is this just supposed to be the blinding light? I think that's the blinding light. They're not gonna do this. Seriously? They really leave it at that? Wait, 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 why is the cast... Oh, it's the voice actors. I was like, why do I read the name of the students? Okay, well... Skip the cast, there's something at the end. We do not skip credits here. Do you know how long it takes us to beat games? We enjoy <laughs> the credits. We earned the credits, and so did all of you. Never skip the credits. Thank you. Always watch credits. I don't yes. always do, but on stream I do. Because we can use mm -hmm. the credits I usually do. to talk about the game. How did you like it? I love watching the credits at the end of a movie, by the way. Especially to like look at all the names that come by. Like we always point out the ones with difficult last names and stuff. <laughs> the ones we can't pronounce. I am really annoyed that they ended like this. I think like there's a scene after. Use your own 
imagination but it says and to be continued in the second game so i'm guessing we're still gonna I finally am, learn what happens i am 100 percent sure that there is a scene after the credits well i hope it explains it we are still gonna play the second game too so how did you like the game it was pretty good i liked it I like seeing all the people involved. Yes. Which are now mostly dead, but no, it was good. I didn't see how they were gonna end this. What did you expect of a game before we went in? I didn't really have that many expectations. Less hours. Fair. Chaos. Which we also kind of had. Chaos? How? Yeah, but it was fun chaos. What, what chaos? I can know streaming this game. <laughs> what chaos? What are you talking about? It kind of came with chaos on finding the balance. Stop repeating the same word. That's what word. I'm saying, in finding the balance between playing and streaming it. It was a lot of fun though. I think it worked well. Yeah, I think in the end it worked out. What was your favorite part? I actually really enjoyed the ending. Like the one, there were things that we saw coming. Mm -hmm. Or I like that some things were predictable and others were like, what the fuck? Like those little things they got hidden in there. But I think I really like the ending best. Like what they did to Junko. Because I seriously mm. could not imagine how this game would end. After we revealed the truth. I expected an ending like this. No, I wasn't really sure, but I liked the way they did it. I did. I wasn't. I was unsure about whether Makoto would survive because, like, after they killed off characters left and right, I figured maybe at the end, the character we've been playing at the uh, as the whole time is not the one that we get to see the ending with. But what was your favorite case or class trial? I should say. I want to say Sakura's, because that had a lot of feels. Also, yeah. one Someone in game credits, we appreciate you watching them. Yes. These people yes. worked hard on the game. And this music is also absolutely better. Yes. I miss Sakura's arms. Yes, they were... <laughs> they were a beauty to behold. Which trial did you like best? Um, I think my favorite one was Chihiro's. Chihiro's was also fucked. Like that was like this whole roller coaster. Yeah. I think it wasn't even until <laughs> <And abs>. the... <laughs> After the game is fully done. <laughs> it wasn't even until the trial itself, I think. Yeah. That we figured out who did it because we were absolutely sure it was Biakuya. Yes. I fully expected Biakuya to be it at some point. <laughs> but apparently he won. proved us wrong. Now, here we go. Give me an after credit scene game. What's it gonna be? Am <laughs> I still there? Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster. That's pretty cool. Ooh. In Easter a meta egg? in a metaphorical sense? No, but this means that there is an organization behind this. Someone now just took over from Junko. And I'm guessing uh, it's gonna go in a loop. Like now other students get stuck here or something. But what's the Easter egg gift? I don't get that one. 
I guess chapter one. If only I could. <laughs> well, that one is safe. We actually wait. Quick, quick! What's the time? Uh, for the time, I would have to close the game. No. Oh. What extras are there? Okay. That's pretty cool. 366 <laughs> coins. School mode. Third option. Thrills, chills, kills! Did that Dang say what if simulator? Yes. Wait, new game? Wait, can you start the game again? <laughs> I love that the serial killer doesn't kill anyone. So this is basically the game up until we get into the school and then we can just do free time events with everyone, right? Oh, it's the dating sim version. Want to date Toko? No. <laughs> it's so serious. <laughs> no. I'm gonna leave it on this screen while we do our sit-ups. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, it's not good. School mode is if there's no murder taking place. Is there an actual story or is it just like... Mm, okay. Including Mukuro. Okay. Mm, might be interesting to have a look at. Uh, I remember Evie going, you might as well just read all the text on a wiki because it, it skips you, uh, it saves you the time of pressing through all of it. Hmm, fair enough. And you don't really get anything for it, do you? Unless it's like an achievement or something locked behind it. Not really. Mm. Yeah. Right. Okay. But what's the Easter egg that we got? It's an item. We can give it to Junko probably to get her to like us better. Oh, it transfers into the other one. Yeah, I'm guessing. Well, makes sense, I guess. Or I you guess can that makes sense. Start like a new game plus kind of thing where you Ooh. where something carries over, I guess. Uh, that wouldn't make that much sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, there's something. At my back. There we go. Should be better. Nine. Ten. <laughs> Eleven. Nice, <Let me> Richie. <sighs> no, but the game was Let a lot of fun. Me. Now we just gotta decide if we're gonna go Eleven. straight into Dangan Rampa 2 or play something else first. Thirteen. Fourteen. That is gonna be the next question. Fifteen. Eh. Now, where are you here? There we go. Can so. you believe it? We basically beat Dark Souls 3 and Danganronpa in the, in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought we would finish it this year, huh? Never would have imagined. I think it's cool, but it does have a minor Danganronpa 2 spoiler at the end, since the dating sim mode was made for Danganronpa 2 first, then added in for Danganronpa 1. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, we'll probably not be going through this anyway. I am sitting on the mic. That's not a good thing to do. I know. That's why... There. That's why you don't put them in your pocket. And you just put them here. Oh yeah, dang on for two spoilers. So no. <laughs> so let's go to just chatting for a bit, listen to some music. And show me no. game time. Let's how, check long how long it took. Did it take? Do we have any guesses? Yes. Place your bets. How long did it take <laughs> us to finish dang in one by one? What is it anyway? Hmm, not bad, not bad. Yeah. 69 hours. 96 hours. <laughs> uh, you both... Well, anyone else wants to join for a guessing game? Would have been pretty cool. 83 hours. Mm. 
All right. Not bad. Here's the solution, 82.3 hours. So Groundhog almost nailed it. So Hulk, first of all, no. <laughs> How slow do you think we are, man? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Hulk has a pretty good feeling of just how slow we are. <laughs> So close! Yes, that was an amazing guess. Oh, sorry. Almost took your thingy. 82 hours. I have to say it didn't feel like 82 hours. No, not really. I mean, we have played this for seven weeks. That is But true. yeah, I really liked it. Evie, again, thank you so much for recommending it and then haunting us until we finally started playing it <laughs> it was a lot of fun more than uh, i thought it would be yeah <laughs> 69 plus 13. thanks for playing thank you for making us uh, i enjoyed it we're very happy thank to you. hear so we enjoyed it as well yes in terms of just like it was a wild ride entertainment i would place this above game of thrones only up until uh, season seven. Depends. I thought some of the thingies in the trial. If I have to say something about the game, I would say that some of the things in the trial were really annoying. Okay. If we are like all in all, I would recommend this game to everyone that doesn't mind going through some rather graphic stuff. Uh, yeah. Because if you, I don't think I would have played this game for myself ever. Um, because it is a bit too gruesome for me. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, but the themes the game picks up are pretty dark. So if yeah, I would have okay. played, if I would have started playing this game for myself without all of you here, I would have probably dropped it at some point because I would have gotten too depressed. Um, mm. But having someone to play it with and someone to interact with every now and then, whenever I felt like maybe it got too dark, I could just Turn to chat or you. Uh, so I didn't think it was that bad, but I'm also not really affected by things like this as you are. Yes, I'm a sensitive one when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, no, but I really I'm slightly like more on DK side. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Shame we didn't get to see the ending. That's what vaults are for. No, but I'm happy I did. Hope I really okay. liked the game. Uh, nitpicky stuff. I'm, I'm like Evie uh, already mentioned most of it. Um, like when we were um, in the class trial for, who was it? Hmm? Uh, it was the class trial where we learned about Genocide Jill. Um, I'm not sure who that was. Chihiro? Because that's where they were trying to set... Yeah, either the second or the third Genocide one. Genocide Jill up. Um, that... That mini game where you go into like this meditation thing where you have to pick out the letters for a word. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that already started in the first one. Yeah, but no, those were mostly fine. Like that one really messed me up because... Oh yeah, it was the DID. You know, not, they, they didn't go with DID, they went with... They went with Shih Tzu, which is fucked up. Yes. Uh, Hangman's a... Gambit, thank you. Like... Shih Tzu was a problem, yes, that was it. Like not even going into the whole meaning of that word it plain didn't even occur to me that they would have gone with this because mm. they were they were very like high class about how they treated the whole thing but like it's multiple personality disorder it's yeah, they went with the correct terms disorder. the entire time um, and then in this thing it was like, like <laughs> shit so it's like oh really like it actually was because of Evie that I understood what it was supposed to be because she was like, you know, it, it's... Yeah, that one was really It's shit. problematic. I was like, oh, yes, okay, yeah, fine. Um, I guess I they like... couldn't find another thing to go with. Like, the ID was probably too short. The other thing was too long. Yeah. Like it was just a localization yeah. team being uninformed. Yeah. That could also yeah. be... I don't think they did this on purpose to be hurtful to anyone. I think they just didn't know better. Or they did, well, and or they didn't have the ability to like make the text at that part longer or shorter. 
Because isn't mm -hmm. most localization just like trying to work within the confines of the game as it was in the original language? Like spacing is an issue with uh, like fan translations, for example. I think it's just uh, not knowing. Yeah. And think of, okay, I'm going to make this shorter. Yeah, I, I have like... I didn't like this. I have like uh, seven spaces to put letters, so I need to find a word that <laughs> fits that criteria somehow. No, uh, that one w went over my head. Um, a couple of uh, like truth bullet things. Some were really hard. Like you know the yes. answer and then it's really frustrating if you can't find out what the fucking should. Yeah, like maybe that wasn't me because I got too hung up on like, <laughs> I have the answer. <laughs> yeah. But I cannot wrap my head around how the game wants me to incorporate the way to that answer into the gameplay. Yep. But in the end we got through so it cannot have been that difficult. Yeah, I'm it's sure. a tricky moment because I'm also not sure what they should have used. I think that they were probably stuck on that as well. I, f I think one of the better ways, if possible, would have been to just, un to just go with DID. Because they brought that term up before. Like with all the other hangman gambits, or hangman's gambits. Yeah, but uh, it probably was too short, then you had to shoot like one letter. Yeah, or you I don't give people enough clues, it would be like D and then two empty spaces. Like, Yeah, Yeah, but still. The one mechanic I actually found annoying is that like in every class trial, you got something new. And then, oh yeah, at the end, oh yeah, it's not for you. I Just like say that. so at the beginning. No, I like that. Because it um, got you all confused. It does show that there are more mechanics to the game if you later play it again in a different mode. Yeah. But even so. Like for the people that want the challenge of those things, I think it's a nice thing that uh, the game tells you, hey, there would be this difficult thing, but you're gonna skip that. Yeah, yeah. but no. And to be honest, I am someone, I like replaying games sometimes, but this is not a game I would replay that soon. I would replay this at some point, but I would definitely again play on easy because um, the enjoyment of a game comes from the writing and the story itself, not the gameplay mechanics. I don't really think you play for that. Well, <laughs> some games, much, some though. games I play for the gameplay. This yeah, isn't but there one you of also them. have more gameplay. Yeah, this but, doesn't revolve around the gameplay. But like, I'm not saying this because I thought the gameplay in this one was bad. I'm saying it's it's serviceable. Like it helps to get. Yeah, the I'm not point saying it's bad. Point. I'm just saying it's not a game you play for the gameplay. Yeah, that's what I said first. Yeah. There's a reason I tell people to play on easy. Yes. Thank you for that. It, it was, was very much helpful. Better. <laughs> yes. Uh, Especially later on, what you learned in the class trial, those additional things that weren't for us. So yeah, probably. I'm glad we skipped one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. Uh, very glad I skipped those. Um, other than that. No, I think the game was a lot of fun. Pretty good. Yep. Damn near flawless. Like not completely perfect, but yeah. One of the best games I've played, I have to say. Easily the best mm. visual novel I've played. I prefer this over over visual how to for boyfriend. When it comes to visual novel, yes. I'm not sure what I like better yet. I also haven't finished How to for Boyfriend. It I... all depends on what you want. Like How to for Boyfriend, obviously, yes, very dark, but it still has this much no. higher fun factor. The thing with spoilers, How to for Boyfriend is that if you don't know, it you might be really disappointed when you get into the game. If you think like, oh, this is such because good fun. Because on the tin, it's a quirky, weird game. That's it for Boyfriend is a lot okay. of fun. Uh, I love it. Then I'm going to leave it at that Groundhog. Um, it's a good game, but uh, it's technically a spoiler, but I would prefer if people knew this before getting into it. It has dark themes. Like, what you start with isn't what you're going to end up with. Not if you go through <laughs> the whole story. You can skip that, but if you go through it, you will see some dark stuff. And I, I don't like it there because mm -hmm. I, I, when I played Heart of a Boyfriend the first time with Tofu, uh, I wanted it to be that 
weird, quirky game. And when we did actually get to one of those parts, I was like, okay, <laughs> <It's> like, <"What?" laughs> okay, this is not for me. Like th this th is definitely for me. <laughs> this is not the game I thought I bought. So don't let him talk you out of it, though. It is awesome. It is great. Buy yes, it. but I'm, I'm I'm saying buy all of it. If you if this is not the kind of game you want to play, you'll be disappointed with Heart of a Boyfriend. Dang and Ronpa doesn't have that pretense. Like it doesn't go. Oh, you know what to sort oh, of. Oh look, we're high schoolers. Everything is fine, and then like thirty hours in, shit goes wrong. <laughs> it's from the beginning. You know, within like the first thirty minutes. Okay, yeah, this. This is where it's at, and it just builds on that. Ultra Despair Girls is dark as fuck. That's okay. the number. That's number three, right? That's the side game. Oh, the side one. Yeah. Oh, it's the third in line now. Like all the trigger warnings. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, I would have mm -hmm. assumed as much. I also, just going out on a limb here, I'm imagining there will be more dark themes in Danganronpa 2 and 3. Like, I I would have imagined they don't just keep it at this level, but they maybe push it a little bit more in those sequels. Hmm. Am I right? Well, there is a high chance we'll probably go straight into Danganronpa 2. Or maybe play like a short game in between. Gonna have a look this weekend. I'm surprised it got away with an M rating. Okay. <laughs> then it must be pretty bad. In, as in the in very maybe long. they did the same as here, like change some colors, do all of those little wonders. Yeah, the others are dark too. You did use crazy. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. What was the order to play them in? One, two, anime. Ultra Despair Girls, and three. But watch the anime of three before you play the game. Am I right? I think it was one, two, anime, three. One, two... Oh. Yeah, sorry, I was right. Ha! Huh, I remembered something. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, the anime for free covers something completely different than V3. Yeah, I like that as well. Yeah. Gives you something new to the franchise. Yeah. True. Plus that way the people that have seen the anime of free getting the game because you know, they saw something, they liked it. Uh, they don't just play the story that they just saw already. They mm -hmm. get something new. Yeah. I'm back. What's the stream schedule look like for Danganronpa 2? Undecided still. Yeah, we're still not sure. We're going to have a look in the weekend if we're going to play like maybe a short game in between or if we're going to go straight into Danganronpa 2. If we're going to go straight into it, it will start on Tuesday though. Yes. Yeah. We'll most likely be wrapping up Dark Souls 3 on Sunday. There's like one or two, two or three maybe. Uh, oh, we were gonna look up which bosses, bosses we miss and go there. Feel free to take a break if you need one. Either way is okay with me. Now well, let's see. I don't feel like I need a break, but it might also be good to do something tiny in between and then swap. Like don't play a game that takes another six weeks. Just have like a bit of... Yeah, if there's like something short we can get maybe done Start in like up. one. If there is a game that is not struggle that we can maybe do in <laughs> one or two streams uh, in between, we could fit that in. Otherwise, I I also don't think I would mind uh, going into day in one part two. Like, yes, we I did have... play it for 82 hours, <laughs> but I don't feel like I played it for 82 hours. I have a feeling, though, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, now you can do the mega oh, yeah. sit-ups for the redeem. Let me get that. Mega sent us a video of him doing the sit-ups. Have a good day. Are you leaving? We'll still be here for a moment, but thank you. Thank you so Hope much for dropping by. Your day is going to be amazing, whatever's left of it. Yes. And you have an amazing weekend. No, you kept saying that I'm not allowed to say everything and then you swap to you saying everything. You haven't told me what parts I should say. <laughs> oh my god, do we need to practice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I can see that face and I know it's lying. <laughs> so. So. Ranger redeemed. Mega, do some sit-ups. Yeah, uh, we have something prepared for that moment. If only I could find the right button. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Mega, do some sit-ups. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong thing. That oh explains. my god. Boy, am I glad you cannot see what I can see right now. Let me there try once more. Ranger redeemed. Mega, do some sit-ups. There we go. Second try. We turn off his music so you can hear all of this. Oh my god. Play it. <laughs> Mega, that I you don't your face doesn't say 20. <laughs> this is the point of like 200. Wait, I need this again. <laughs> This, this face is like a quarter Junko at the end. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Yes, it is. The emotes are public. Yes. Nice. If you want to use the emote. Gonna yes. have a look at them. Yes. Definitely. That is actually a really good idea to, to just expand your emotes like that. True. Like you can just make whatever you want and put them in there. Isn't there also a way to put like GIFs in there as an animated emotes? Well, yeah, don't you use animated ones? No, not on Twitch. Twitch emotes are PNG files, they're just static images. But yeah, I... Yeah, but we have moving here, there. Yeah, true. They're all moving. Look, yes, all these... Oh my god. On Twitch you Pifa. cannot. On Twitch, you can't. I have no idea how to make a GIF. Make a video and then use a program to create a GIF from that video. I've seen channels with Dang and Ron FFZ emotes. Okay. Nice. Then maybe we can get back to working on that other idea we had with a green screen. And then we can use this technology with that <laughs> to incorporate it. We could. It was so ironic when they added once for a character when they died on stream. <laughs> no. Was that the same person that cosplayed as a character that got killed? Oh, that's got to be rough. <laughs> like that would have been awesome. <laughs> that has got to be rough. I'm kind of glad that different one. Hmm. Uh, I guess in a way I was lucky that my favorite characters didn't die. Well, Sakura was definitely a favorite. And Sakura okay. is dead. True. I guess. Also, Sakura would have never fit in the biolab. <laughs> yes, those things are quite big. No, I actually have to take that back. Um, out of all the characters that survived, the only one I didn't hate at first, based on the first impressions, was Hina. But she turned out to be... Well, Hina yeah. is Hina. Piaqui also got much better towards the end. Yeah, Hina got worse for me, much worse, and Byakuya got no hero a got much better. I have to remind you of the ghost bit. The ghost thing is stupid, but I can forgive it because haha, funny comic relief. <laughs> Hina going from oh, uh, let's motivate people and stuff and let's be cheerful to I believe everything anyone says. Uh. At least. At least Hero didn't flip flop as uh, it didn't like. I don't recall him flip flopping as much. He was just yeah. dumb. He was just dumb. Yeah, I guess I know what you mean. Also, kind of like Toko. No, I I don't like Toko. I guess her in her character, I did. Look no. interesting. Entertaining, yes, like, no. Because Toko. Uh, okay, I understand the part why she doesn't shower, but still. Uh, <laughs> Toko doesn't make it 
easy to like her. Well, no, of course not with how she reacts. And but as like a character yes. in the game, I like her. Well, there isn't really any character in the game that I didn't like, except I, for maybe Biakuya. In a way, I kind of like the fact that it was actually Genocide Jill that saved us all. How do you, <laughs> yeah, Ranger, yes. how do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, she isn't just running around free. She saved Probably. her ass, basically. I'm imagining it. By being a different person, yeah. she, she saved her yeah. ass. Technically, we wouldn't have beat the game if it wasn't for her. So. Yep. While I completely object to what she does, she <laughs> is the reason why we got through it. So. Actually, no. Monokuma was my favorite character. I really enjoyed voicing him. <laughs> Saved by a serial killer. It happens. Yeah, sometimes I guess. it happens. Like, I had most fun with Monokuma. Awesome anime logic. Yes. Yeah, kind of. Well, I'm guessing she would now still kill again, but only if Biakria would tell her. I wonder if she can. <laughs> I think the whole situation is messed up. I'm still mad that they ended without actually showing if the world is fucked, yes or no. Yeah, so you buy the second game. If you leave a game with an uncertain like yeah, future I guess people of get a franchise once they know what on happens and by the next an absolute time. cliffhanger like this, you will generate buzz online and everywhere else. Like, people will start discussing this, people will start calling for answers, and the publishers are gonna even go, well, I guess we should greenlight Danganronpa 2. I mean, it worked, there is four games. So, hmm. four games and animes. So, for money! Yes. Yes. Also, maybe I should put the music loud enough for you to hear it too, not just me. There you go. I just realized. <laughs> The music is pretty low. Wait, I didn't change the volume controls. Well. For money. Not for dark side in this case. Uh, so, how about we... Go rate someone? BRB. No worries. Uh, we go rate someone. Not no worries, but Groundhog, thank you so much for dropping by. It has been a blast and I wish you an awesome weekend. Because I don't think we'll still be here when you're back. Probably not. Yes, we're gonna raid someone. Who do you wanna raid? You're doing the end of stream dance too early. You didn't even start clicking on who to raid or anything. That was a lot of fun. Professional stream. Also wait, game Danganronpa 2 was like 50, 60 hours on average? Twice as long as the first one for the average person. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be end of the year when we finish that. Well, it depends. If it reuses a lot of the game mechanics, then I think we'll be faster because it's a continuation, I would assume. Hmm. I've now seen... Zack Snyder Justice League six times, which okay. totals to 24 <laughs> hours. I've literally spent a day watching it. Hey, you know. I've spent 82.3 hours playing Danganronpa and I had a blast. So... <laughs> that is very true. Think of it like this. I think getting so much entertainment out of it is a great thing. Exactly. So. It does make it worth every cent. Yeah. <laughs> Basically the same thing. 24 hours, 82 and a half. You know, yeah. numbers. All the same. They're all made up anyway. Now, let's go on a raid. Who so you want to raid? Mouse moves again. Who are we going to raid? Phobie Goat! Let's go raid Fody. Oh my god, Beth is playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <laughs> Can't That's beat our speedruns. Great. Sit ups? Rate the maps! Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we, we can't do a rate and exercise at the same time because uh, there's no way we can get that time to... Like... I take back what I said, Groundhog. We are still here yes. <laughs> before you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> there was a chance you could have missed us, but... We got last minute setups. But Ranger, 
denied you that <laughs> despair. So. Ah, I'm so happy I bought this yoga. That's. Is it easier or more difficult if you lay flatter? Five. One. Seven. Six. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, ten. Uh, what do you mean? Seven. Is it easier or harder if I lay completely flat? Like this, or if I get closer to the thing. I guess the only difference really is whether people can I don't think you're see my face. To... Do them like that. Seven. I'm gonna press the rate button already. No, you don't. Eight. Yes, I am. No. Fine. Nine. I shall not. Imagine being able to concentrate on your exercise. <laughs> I left the jars in the back. Did Ten. you also put the jack one? Yes, you did. But eleven. Of course I still have our <laughs> likeness. I do have to be careful though, because when I... I don't think you can see it. I, when I tried to wash it, the thingy, his hair thingies came a tiny bit loose. Uh, I don't think you can actually really see that on camera. So I should not wash it too hard before Jack turns bald. You should not wash it more than you need to. Yeah. Off the jars in the back. Yes, we do too. And you didn't even turn off the workout. Can because you? you were still working on it. Wow. Yeah, it's not too bad. Weak. You can't really see it. But now that I know, just more careful. So it's not yeah. like we need to wash them every day. No. I mix 10 sit-ups into my 100 crunches to show some solidarity. Yeah. 100 crunches is only what I do when I eat cornflakes. <laughs> but nice. <laughs> Wash that bean smell out. These actually don't smell that bad, I must say. They don't smell good either though. Oh no, but they don't smell as nasty as the other one. Despair! Despair. Yes, I'm very thankful that uh, Andrik earlier saved us, or well, spared us. <laughs> I was not sad about that at all. They smell bad when you eat them. Yes, they do. Yes. Some mm. of them really do. And they taste even worse. I had a soap one last time. It was very awkward. Thank so you all dance. so much for hanging out. Thank you for sticking with us for this wild ride. I somehow expected like another eight hour stream or something today. Partially, yes. To finish the game. Thank you for sticking with us for 82 and a half hours almost of dang and run for goodness. Uh, we will be back. Even for tomorrow. some of you guys that weren't here for the story. Yes. Told you not that long left. Yes, you <laughs> That Tifa, is very true. It's time for the end of the stream dance. And had no clue what was happening. Maester quickly got for the epilogue. Thank you. Yeah, the epilogue wasn't even that long. Thank you all so much. Let's go raid Fody. Phoebe Bow. And we will be back tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.